winning out in the fashion that we so let's see of course and in na i think that there is a little go live rocket back and forth especially once we hit that grand finals with the fact that if g2 and genji the predicted expected grand okay. finalists do manage to go head to head here g2 we go, here we have go. been taking uh genji out every once in a while i believe during some of those boom boom here. pow uh, customization players right now as a heads up as we head into this semi-final here where but, is it uh, yeah i don't know i'm just stoked for this lemon me too uh, and i, I feel like okay they have the edge because of their experience together like i said yeah so i just did like a really simple uh thumbnail belt playing with this roster they've been to land they won four yeah spider man what i what i need to do like realistically what i need to do though is i need to um as much tenure as courtney bella and kate have um i need to create like a general thumbnail for gaming so that i don't have to make a thumbnail for every game i play right so if i have a stream where i play multiple games or i have um a stream where i play like uh one game that i don't usually play i uh, just have like a general a general thumbnail for that i definitely agree with you i mean and then they also have the fact that they end up um and and that's it yeah so y'all you know like yesterday i slept also from courtney from you know i was so tired yesterday y'all you know this right i slept from like 9 until 12 a.m like 9 p.m to 12 a.m and that's it and then i was awake until 9 a.m the good news is that i got like lots of stuff done um so i got my short form my more short form elden ring um it's still long form for youtube but it is um a tiktok right and so the voiceover that i did is like looking back on it 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 wasn't exactly the voiceover i planned on doing because i i kind of planned to strictly talk about like my thought process throughout the fight um but um essentially i kind of did like a little bit more of a, like a how-to like i explained how i did it which is kind of like a thought process right because it's like explaining um what i was doing in order to finally beat him so it was like kind of like a thought process but it wasn't like exactly um but yeah, so I just, I, and I didn't even voice over the whole thing, right? I voice overed m a lot of phase one and did not voice over a lot of phase two because phase two only really involved like um, two abilities. And so, you know, like it wasn't like that, that crazy. Um, so what I did last night was I got the um the the boss fight I did like the first the first boss fight is his name like Margit the the fell omen um I got that prepared and ready uh and scheduled and actually that should be out now that should be out that should be out now um the fight I did against him the full fight um I may do I may do the same thing for him that I did. But here's the thing, though. It's like, now I'm not putting out, like, shorts on YouTube. Like, doing these. So that's, like, part of the pro- Like, kind of a problem. But the good news is, like, when I do the one for TikTok, I don't really have to edit at all except change the format from um, a TikTok format to a YouTube format. And that's really, that's really, like, the main thing that I have to do. And don't worry, for those of you on TikTok right now, um, essentially what's going on is a women's tournament. Um, it'll be starting in one minute. So this screen will change. Like right now I'm just displaying like uh, displaying capture. So I'm watch partying a women's Rocket League tournament and it will be starting in less than a minute. So you'll be able to see like a, you know, less weird, you know, l l less weird view here. Same with YouTube. So um but yeah so i'm gonna be posting so i essentially uh 
got together the the market video scheduled it it's processed to hd um everything so it's like supposed to, it'll be good quality um and that one is straight from stream so i didn't luckily thankfully i did not have to do anything to it right like i didn't have to like change anything like i just was able to put it right into uh right into davinci and just you know um and then the four minute one which is the win on tree sentinel um i will be posting on tiktok i haven't done that yet it's in my google drive um for me to snag on my phone and post um but that's going to be happening uh i'm going to be posting out on tiktok and that is scheduled i didn't want the two videos to be scheduled at the same time so the market the fell omen one is scheduled right now like it literally Fine. came Fine. out five minutes ago Fine. And the short W that I, the short video that I did um, for Tree Sentinel Man that was my winning fight against him will be posted at 3 Central. So, there's that. Um, so, yeah, so edited version of my win coming out on tiktok today coming out on youtube long fight against margit coming out today on youtube um and i made a grocery list y'all and then i put it into walmart to see approximately how much it would cost basically invincible throughout this turn but i have so much stuff on here that like i'm gonna have for longer periods of time so like a lot of things like half the list i'll have for like longer than a week but it was like it was like 150 bucks 160 bucks they have done this in multiple turns but like there are multiple time I had like cat litter, different calibers. This team was scissors, time ketchup, barbecue to sauce. Break, um, always make it. I had like frozen stuff. Yeah, but no, Spider Man, this is supposed to be for only a week. And you know, you know, previously when I shot for myself for like three weeks to a month. I spent like like three hundred dollars total, but but Spider Man, like I said, a lot of this stuff is lasts longer than a week. Like I'm buying like condiments and stuff that I um would buy previously that would last me like a long time. You know what I mean? So like a bottle of ketchup as by myself is gonna last me a while. Let me let me see the list. Genji know this team. They so, in many yogurt is going to last me longer than a week because I get the big tubs, right? So that, the yogurt you, usually lasts me like two two weeks if I make a smoothie every single day. Or like a week and a half to two weeks. Um, potatoes, my potatoes last me longer than a week because I get, I get like the five, five pound bag of potatoes and i'll usually like have like four different meals like those potatoes will last me like four different meals five different meals depending on how many potatoes i make i bought i'm buying i have rice on there and that rice will last me a while it's it's gonna be like five pounds of rice so that lasts me a long time um even the chicken i think i'll have like I I get pretty close. Alpha, thank you for the three roses. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So potatoes. Um, onions. My onion. The onions will last me longer than a week. Spider Man. Onions will last me longer than a week. Yogurt, rice, potatoes. The cheese will probably last me longer than a week. Um, the strawberries, if I, like, buy strawberries, which I may or may not need. It depends. Because I have, like, frozen strawberries here. So I might, like, I might, you know, just take the strawberries that, I, that I've had here, right? And not need to buy strawberries at all. 
sugar flour there's no way i'm going through that in a week right butter i'm not gonna go through butter in a week uh joe thank you for the follow it's alpha effect hello hello it's been a while it has been a while i hope that you're well hope that you're doing good um but i have like parmesan and i have like cheddar cheese um and those would last more than a week lemon juice will last more than a week olive oil will last more than a week um breadcrumbs like italian style breadcrumbs those will last more than a week eggs will probably last me more than a week depends on how much i snack and, and then that if the eggs last me more than a week so will the bagels right like the bagels and eggs are like my my snack um you know what i'm saying and that that y'all that is literally like half the list or more than half the list so spider-man i took all of those things out right i took all of those things out that i oh and apple juice apple juice will last me more than a week um all of this stuff like i took i took all this stuff out and then the and then it was like 80 bucks so i kind of use that as like a as like a baseline of like an average an average uh one week to the store and, and maybe you could say like a hundred or something it would also depend on what i eat right like but a lot of this stuff will last me like a long like gosh like a month plus you know like the like the um the olive oil and stuff um and of course um but yeah like obviously i hope that i can just like go to the store for a week and honestly i i will say i may i may be like i think i'm like more into like chicken meals and then like ground beef meals um but but yeah spider-man so planning on making more smoothies yeah probably like probably before the gym spider-man or like maybe like after i don't know 1v1 no but thank you for the follow nonetheless yeah, spider man we'll 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 freaking see we'll freaking see um we, we hope so testing the waters but once Gen G get their footing they should be the more dominant of the two sides instead it's a last second goal that but here here's like another thing spider-man is on this list i have multiple meals right so like previously i would make like what we would say two meals a week right um i have four different meals on here so that's also why it's like more expensive because like i kind of plan to eat more variety like daily wise um like i could make um like like smaller like small make smaller portions more often i i i don't know i don't know if i'm going to do that for sure i think i'm gonna try it with like this hi elliot hi caroline how are you guys i think i'm gonna try it like with this first the, the first week and see how i feel and um see how that goes and yeah so like i have like a creamy chicken on here i have meatball subs I have a bolognese, and then I have chicken and orzo. A chicken and orzo meal on here. So, like, like I said previously, I would make like one. Um, I'd make like one. Uh, 
quick on their transitions. Good example is Paulo. One, maybe two meals a week, right? Um, I've never made it tennis, man, but I'm gonna try. So essentially, it's gonna be um, it's gonna be like chicken tennis, man, uh, celery, carrots. Orzo and like a chicken broth and like cook it all cook it all together and so have like a you know pasta chicken celery and and uh and carrot place of rice yeah it uh I've never had orzo I don't think but it looks uh I was like reading like substitutes right because I wanted to know if I could use rice as a substitute um and you like you can um because i didn't know if it was like a rice i wasn't sure exactly like what it was because um, i never had it and um it's like it, it looks like a, a rice a rice like pasta um, and i decided i would like i'll try some and and see yeah so i like spider-man i assume that i have four different um, I have four different meals on here, right? Whereas, like, previously, I would use this to cook, um, like, I would get chicken, right? Like, I'm getting the same amount of chicken, and then I would get five pounds of ground beef, and here I plan to get, th like, three. Um, I mean, I could get five and just, like, you know, freeze it and, and, th and then thaw it out. Um, but yeah, I have, like, three pounds, and, um... And then the same amount of chicken for one week that I would usually eat in, in three weeks. Um, because I'm thinking about cooking in smaller portions, Spider-Man, and cooking more often. Am I familiar with all the teams? I know most of these people, Cesspool. Um, and yeah, yeah, I'm pretty, I would say I'm pretty familiar because I did this, uh, Watch party yesterday, cesspool. They, uh, I offered to to do a, or they were looking for people to to watch party games that weren't on the mainstream. So I got to watch party like four or five games that were not on the mainstream. Yesterday, um, Joshua Phillips, thank you for the sub on YouTube. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Yeah. So I believe it's troubleshooters. 12 bricks gen g and g2 cesspool in the uh championship sunday final four this is the first series of the day gen g took game one um they're looking strong um you know look, both teams looking good game two gen g up by one as you can see 12 bricks i want to say is b nacho and lilo g2 is Halibird, Avenger, and Karma. Saw any of their matches? I saw them on the mainstream. Um, I'm trying to remember how they did in their group. Uh, I can't remember if they got third or fourth in their, like third or last in their group. Though I will say that I I watched one of their series for sure. And, um, they did well. I just think the other teams in their group, um, did worse. Um, or, like, or, like, the, sorry, I don't even know what I just said. Um, the, the teams in their, in their group, uh, are, all, all were really good, so. Third in the group, gotcha. Yeah, I knew they got, I knew they got third or fourth. Not being as accurate and Angie not being in the best place to find the rebound. We'll see that one opportunity going awry will hurt. I thought you weren't really paying attention. I mean, like, I'm, I'm like partially paying attention, Cornite. Partially paying attention. I used to some days. That isn't true, but I'm more regular basis on arm than they used to be. Feel better. Yeah, yeah, Cornite. Or not Cornite, Spider Man. Um. It's not necessarily that I want to eat smaller portions, but I want to, like, I want to try cooking more often. Through Liquipedia, you could probably watch them through the Radiant stream. If you type, I believe, exclamation point watch, says pool, um, you could probably rewatch them through, through the Radiant stream. 
sends it right back off the backboard. Um, doesn't have enough boost to stay in the air. And if they weren't on the mainstream, they were either on Rocket Star stream or Visionary One stream because I did not watch Party in either games. Um, but yeah, so Visionary One, Rocket Star, or the mainstream Radiant. Um, one of those would have their uh their matches at different points in time. Surprising that they didn't take an overwhelming win to start off the series. Usually they start off very strong. In this one, they decided okay. So this is a this is a best of seven. So y'all, the thing is, is there should be five or uh three games today. Um, they may be anticipated here. We mentioned the two teams. There there should be there should be three games today, three series rather. Um, all best of seven. And so up first we got Gen G versus Troubleshooters, and on the other side we'll have Twelve Bricks versus G Two. And then uh, since there are only four teams, there will be the finals uh, after that so we're only really having three series today um to determine the winner here um first place i believe gets three thousand dollars second place i think it's like 2400 and oh my gosh third place gets a thousand something um or third third through fourth very easy to make in that case if you can't or is it was it uh yeah yeah it gets a thousand something and then i think fifth through six gets 750. so um they're playing essentially for three grand right now um see see if they can uh take some take some dubs honestly like things like that things like this can be so cool right because these people like can sit here and and play uh what is it like you know six hours of rocket league and and uh you know for the shot of a of a grand per person right so whoever wins this you know each 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 person will essentially be be, be getting a thousand dollars hi randy in there handsome thank you no worries no worries Force him into a double commit as well, so now it's a little bit awkward here. They um, but yeah, Spider Man, some more so just uh less uh cooking, cooking smaller portions, right? I'm it's not necessarily that I'll be eating smaller portions, um, but yeah, so like better, better few, better, better food for me and stuff. Yeah, yeah, basically, it's just cooking a wider variety of stuff, Spider Man instead of eating the same thing for four days in a row and then like cooking another thing you know what i mean um so that is kind of why it's more expensive because like so for the chicken right like i may not be using all of the chicken right i may i may literally um have like two chicken breasts right um so like in the entirety of the chicken like the the package I might get like five or six chicken breasts, right? But I'm only using like two at a time. No, revert. Listen, I literally did that for a year and a half, like two years. Just sat there and ate the same thing four days in a row. Mufasa, I don't like disagree with you. I did that for like, I did that for a, a couple years, right? And it's, I like it because I don't like cooking, right? So I just like make a big meal and eat it for for four days. But I am going to try something different in life, you know, and try to make like you know, like maybe maybe cut it down to like two days, eat the same thing for two days. You know what I mean? Versus versus four days. On early, yeah, Tessa Spippy, I'm watch partying the, the Radiant event. How you're planning it to? Yeah, cause, cause here's like kind of what I'm hoping for, Spider-Man, is even with like a full, like I don't necessarily need to eat a full chicken breast when I have like other things, right? So this creamy chicken, this creamy chicken, I would do like, um, like potatoes and like the frozen veggies. Hi, sweetie. The potatoes and frozen veggies, right? So let's say like I cut, I cut the chicken breast in half because they are actually pretty thick chicken breasts. I'm not gonna lie, right? 
So you have like, uh, like uh, I would take like two, two chicken breasts, right? Instead of taking like three full chicken breasts or something and cut them in the middle, not this way, but like this way to make them thinner and then make some potatoes and some frozen veggies, right? Salads, yeah, wraps, shredded, exactly, exactly. Um, hi Coursera, how are you? So like, so in this case, Spider-Man, I would still have the majority of my of my chicken left versus versus when I would typically cook. Um, I would have like, you know, I would I would only have like a one third of it left or like like I don't know. Let's like do a more accurate like forty percent of my chicken after one meal, right? Instead of having instead of using 40 percent of my chicken right i would have 40 percent um so like after these two meals i i should still have chicken left over is what i'm saying right so even though like i'm buying this for like a a week i will still i will still have chicken left over that i can uh freeze right for the next week and same with um and same with like ground beef like if i buy like three pounds of ground beef i should still have a pound of ground beef left right to um tournament to do things with be a cruise on by here in the semi the next week look at these shots nine to two and now close your eyes so I'll give you one guess who won that you're wrong it's trouble shooters after all of that Gen -G so you really start early when i'm in a rush what are you trying to do today tennis man tg can cook um i can follow instructions tussle spippy like i don't cook from the heart if that makes sense from the heart and from the mind right um, but I can follow like instructions. So like, I mean, there's that. Mile ride this morning. Yeah, well, like, why? Are you, wait, but why are you in a rush? Entirely in favor of Gen G as they dove at the ball, controlled possession, and really locked all the troubleshooters into their. I don't understand why that make you in a rush. Oh, like, like oh, like I thought you meant like it started early, like right. It started like right now, tennis men, and you're in a rush, like you have something to do. Need gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I thought, I thought it was like, I thought you meant you had like more stuff to do, so you wished like that hockey, hockey started later. As in like, like you had like, like more plans for the day is what I mean. Have to shower, Tasman. You, you ain't, you ain't got no hair. Shower fast. Shower fast. Okay, you guys want to play a, a demo game? Sure, we can do that as well. Immediate dem demolition in goal from Courtney's going to open it. It's a quick, quick wash. And Genji show. You can do that, so can we. Now figure out another way um, to make a comeback. But yeah, Spider-Man, plus Baby like, two. No, Bella, not plus implementing like, uh. Genji are so patient, waiting to see what trouble And, and he here's like, well, here's like another thing is, I don't even know if I'll need like snacks, right? Because if I get two meals a day, I don't really need to snack uh, that much. But like, I'm getting like grapes for that. Like all like getting some getting some fruit. Um, and then I'll have my um, I'll have my what's it called? Really are starting to get my smoothies as well. We talked about the aggression. We talked about the way the troubleshooters changed it up in game number three. But you know that Coach Chrome is not going to let that slide. Redeemable thing. Yes, yeah, Spider Man. My life is too chaotic for that to work. And they are showing how those adjustments are paying off in dividends. Those on target, not gonna be enough, but the those were those were simpler times. Time, space, and time 
a lot of boost though those were those were so much simpler times let's let's be honest now spent basically 90 seconds straight in this troubleshooter's half i'm wondering if gen g could try this life is much more complicated now shooters are very much playing multiple people in the net and gen g had to force some adjustments out of troubleshooters starting to hit double taps and of the likes of that against them so honestly this series is close i remember bass saying that he wouldn't be surprised if it's a sweep but like the games are close the series is close like there's no there's nothing like too crazy going on you know but now just barely holding on to this possession Oh, and look how quickly Genji are able to link up and get some passes out of their own house. They're slowly getting back into them. I don't know. I don't know, Spider-Man. Um, I might, I might not do them daily, Spider-Man. Um, but hopefully at least every day that I go to the gym. Right, so at least four times a week. Because that's kind of my plan. Um... Or that's like kind of what I want to do. What I'm gonna try to do. So I I think one thing though, Spider-Man, that's gonna be really important is like to give myself grace, right? Because I am wanting to change like a lot, very fast, and that's really tough. Um, that's really hard. And so I need to like remember one of the most important things is to remember to give myself some grace and um not feel bad if I miss like miss something or you know I'm not feeling motivated today and I don't go or like you know whatever. Rocket League instead of Apex. Uh, there would never be a petition that I would listen to because Rocket League uh, literally makes me sadder than anything in the world. So, okay, it's maybe not that dramatic, but uh, yeah, I really don't like playing anymore. So, very, very rarely. I'd rather, I'd rather not be even more depressed uh, trying to play this game. Um, just like stuff on a bike, treadmill, uh, Spider-Man, just cardio, really. Maybe, maybe some leg stuff, we'll see, but mostly, mostly just cardio. That's really, that's really the main thing, it's just, it's just cardio and like, uh, cause it's, because it's not for gains, Spider-Man. I'm not going for gains. I'm going for health, right? Like that's, I'm not, I'm not really going for gains. Want to? Yeah, yeah. Of course, Tesla Spippy. That's why, like, like I said, I want to give myself grace because I'm, I'm trying to cook more. Um, I'm trying to like, I'm still doing streaming, right? Um, I'm still posting and editing. I'm like, you know, plan to be working a decent amount. Um, like working a decent amount, going to the gym, cooking more often, um, making sure I'm like making overall like healthier choices. Uh, it's and like let's say I am like recording my my like some of my process um so like you know it's uh yeah i do part-time work uh, to spoopy but i am like currently looking for part-time work that's like higher paying um, i've been i've been working on that for a couple weeks one game away from being eliminated from the tournament here in the semifinals. In two seconds left. There's I'm just literally like data uh, data entry or like um Genji showing they might have dropped a game but they are or um like a virtual assistant or like administrative assistant or like anything like that is kind of what I'm looking at to try and do they always have record low shot totals uh, i'm i'm working i work remote so this is i'm looking to work uh remote part-time 
change they'll pay uh, or I'm looking for a higher paying remote part-time job work from home yeah yeah it's just like working from home makes all of this other stuff easier like tells us Bippy like let's say like let's say I I work like four hours a day or something right like let's say let's say that's the case I work four hours a day five five days a week doing like something other than streaming that gives me so much more opportunity to actually do like more streaming stuff and like editing and keep up with those things and like cook um and and all of these things like like i can cook um like on a break or something you know what i'm saying like so all of these things like i can uh, it makes it makes my uh, other things that I want to do um, easier to do. Kind of using less time for for things. But um, but yeah. So that's like what I want to do. Socialize. Yeah, I. It's it's more that like tussle spippy like trying to do part time work, plus streaming plus editing, um, and then like going to the gym because like if we if we look at part time work plus plus streaming like let's say I l had to leave for work right, that's like a potential probably like extra hour of my time onto the four hours right. So like five hours plus a six hour stream plus an hour or two recording and editing and i mean that right there is freaking 13 hours of my day right and then let's just say i get seven hours sleep okay that leaves me four hours in a day to try to like four hours is still a decent amount of time though um but like let's say i go to the gym right and i don't enjoy gymming or cooking right i enjoy gaming so between gymming cooking and showering and just literally eating and taking care of randy which randy still requires like daily care because he still has like issues i mean between all that it would be like it would be like one hour a day where i'm awake and like uh you know because like if we're talking doing everything necessary for my if i do everything necessary for my health right and uh, then i have like an hour and a half a day maybe and that is like i'm not even talking about like cleaning i'm not talking about like any of that i'm talking like i'm i'm gonna have time for for one one episode on netflix a day you know versus like if i work from home i i get my four hours in right and during those four hours working from home i can cook um like with my laptop beside me um or i can i can cook i can uh work on editing um in between things i'm doing um and stuff like that are happy well i would say most people don't even work like 12 hours a day like continuing to be a scoring monster four goals into game she really has been at the right place at the right time every time for gen g 
With only two minutes left on the clock. Like, Trouble statistically, shut down the statistically, second. like, the and average is eight hours a day. Shot that's going on and getting into the right, goal. for an actual job. Right? That are catching so, if oh, I do a part-time job that I have to go to, I'm doing 13 hours the a day. The versus the, the statistical the average of eight. If I work from home, at least I can like maybe shorten that to like 10 or 11. Everyone colliding off the kickoff and Gen G won't let them get away with that again. So careful here. They don't want to give up silly goals and neither do troubleshooters. That's why Angie's back and making a brilliant save. Now I need to get rid of the pressure here. 90 seconds to Like hopefully. And I can even take away some like chores, right? And do that during like part time work as well. Looking for an escape here. They don't want to get locked in, but they might just anyways. Bella shot Days on. off. They expect Hollow me to attend. Yeah. Two defenders of troubleshooters in the net with Katya hunting for bumps. I'm so surprised Ooh. that didn't go in, but Hollow. Oh, gives them a take. Troubleshooters down. might be able to take one more game off of Gen G here. here. Katya can't get up to this one in Hollow. Um, so challenges her, says. You miss this, I'm ready to take the shot. The men's only their schedule. Also, of course, time to get ready, commute, and for some of us, come game. home and uh, just relax. Yeah, it, it also, like, doesn't allow you to do other things while you work, Spider-Man, right? Like, I can't, I literally, I literally cannot do other things while I work. Like, I can't sit there and edit while I, while I'm there. Like, I can't record while I'm there. Not, not like the videos that I do, right? I can't record those videos while I'm there. I can do vlog videos, but you know, like I, I literally could not do and edit the, the videos that I do there. I can't cook while I'm there. I can't clean my apartment while I'm there. Can we really even be surprised that Bella is the one consistently forcing these issues, consistently forcing the offense like, for this team? I mentioned it before. Her stat totals for these last two games, five goals total, and considering through the first three, she only had an assist. Bella has woken right, up. Hi, people. What's up, Laser? How are you? Way. She's ready to sit troubleshooters down and to move on to the finals. They might have to do that in overtime. Everything else, Less yeah. To go here in our fifth Sweaty game. and she irritable. I think this is Pippi. Like, I can hollow. say that it can have have like an impact on my like that, on my health right but like boost, but Gen G, if i if i don't like i also like drown in 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 what is life right uh -oh. oh my goodness at zero uh -oh. seconds zero troubleshooters second takes the game man they had let this go down Paulo is the dagger in the hearts of what are you doing hey but yeah i don't know i Spider-Man, I really want to do freaking the data annotation thing. I, I'm so confused as to why, like, I didn't get to take the qualification exam, you know what I mean? Like, like how many times do I have to freaking try this thing? Because at this point, it's been like... What a game five we just It's been like what? Let's see. I have ever seen out of troubleshooters and in particular, I have to give my credit to Hollow. I mentioned the hat trick for her, incredibly impressive. She March 25th. She also led the team in five saves. She also had 800 points and the best part about that, she did that with the fewest touches on her team. It wasn't like she was just diving at the ball. Yeah, so almost 3 weeks ago every time basically. She did get the ball, then she was a problem. Troubleshooters finding their hero here in this fifth game. If Hollow can repeat this performance, issue with work, months, work right now. I honestly start to Champions Field. <sighs> Working nights can be really hard on people's bodies, regardless of the work you're doing. I'm getting the game seven vibe again, and we were not expecting Genji to be pushed to their Anacano. absolute limits. And troubleshooters for hours and no issues yeah me too to go up against and Gen G gotta finish this off cleanly also to. spippy i also they like that working from home like i can sit here and um be with like randy 
I don't recommend you know what I mean to let hollow he up another dagger another drop from the ceiling and another goal hollow is just on one today are you serious the game when seems easy before, well the problem good, revert is that um so like lead. I took I took the starter assessment they said I passed and there was a qualification for me immediately and then two days later the qualification disappeared and now it just says thanks for taking the assessment and um they've been so much better out at midfield they are not getting locked into their half they are not here here's here's actually part of the of the issue is that that isn't okay so i didn't say this before spider-man but this is actually not the first time that this happened to me it's just the first time it happened i thought it was like a glitch or something and i like went to create a new account like immediately so i didn't even like sit on it right or like worry about it like i literally deleted the account and went to make a new one so i didn't like in this time i i like sat on it right um but like this is the second time that that that, that happened but um so that's how like my like number got used um and then i used my little brother's number and that's when i was able to take the qualification i think um and didn't hear back but then this one you know the starter assessment and then freaking um then it's like this despite the preparedness despite the defense they have shown i do agree they have to minimize these chances from gen g so like overwhelming shot totals that uh out game after game well it revert i didn't think it was necessarily like difficult like i said i i passed a starter assessment and they like um went to give me a qualification and it was there like the qualification was there exactly in net not really needing to either no this is the third time spider-man except i only took the qualification once like I, I didn't get to take the qualification, like um previously. So it's like, like I'm, I'm using numbers, and um, it's like I, they're giving me the qualif, like the qualification appears, and then like. In the most complimentary way, troubleshooters are such an annoying team. The, the qualification appears, and then just that's off ball for troubleshooters when they go into the other half. Watch how Angie swings through there and immediately starts going for demos and bumps and throwing them off guard. That's why this ball disappears in front of net and Bell is the only one back. Troubleshooters aren't here to just throw themselves into offense and then try to build up a play, they're here to build up an offense and to annoy the um until they find an opening. Speaking of openings, there's finally one. For Gen G catches the defense off. Hi, hello, Larry. How are you? How are you doing? I hope so. And all three women of Gen G are being yeah, Spider Man. Now it's like I want it so bad that I want to try and use another number to do it and then just like take the qualification test immediately. But it's like frustrating, right? Because it's like I'm I'm passing and then it's like not letting me take like and then the qualification test is there in all circumstances and then it just disappears. I have got to commend Emma on that one. We haven't mentioned her name too many times, especially. But it's like freaking irritating. Defense hasn't necessarily been the highlight to see her step up at a moment like that. Kudos to her and well played. With a minute to go, you can't afford to give up a Because it's not even like a lack of me, like, passing. Some offense. Show the demo. Show the bumps. And show the goal. Man, see baby Randy doing? He's doing all right. Insanity. How are you? He's right here, actually. Sweet little conehead. Here, Bubba's. That is literally what happened. Emma just yeah, Spippy, it's just that, um, 
I need another number again because they verify number. So like I can't just use my number again. Like I have to I have to use I have to use someone else's number. This is what you get. Wow, see Chenji are so great. One, two, two to loot, double tap. See now I can And since it's messed up on me twice, I've already used like two numbers. I've used three numbers, but like on the mess ups, like I I you know wasted two numbers, right? Not on the mess ups, but like because it, it wasn't me messing up, but on it like Let's return to on the side, like let's just have troubleshooters get another goal. Messing up, you know. Forty-two seconds, Gen G. Will they be our first grand finalist? Holo has to make the save and Katya threatened the double, maybe a fake pass. And Gen G. I think they can tell Tesla Spippy. I'm, I'm not sure if they could tell if it's like a you know real number or not. Mika, thank you for the sixty-one months. Zero goals in three games to. No, no, he didn't games. have, Randy did not have Ella cancer, insanity. He, uh, had a, uh, he had a, uh, he had a skin biopsy to determine to if he had, like, something really wrong. Um, and so he actually got tested for, um, for allergies a year ago they read the results wrong or just didn't tell me and told me he was only allergic to mold his current vet re-read the results didn't he didn't take a new test they just got the results from his previous vet and said he is allergic to 20 plus things in the environment um so he the biopsy was unnecessary a lot of the stuff he's been through has been unnecessary in your favor and the prediction of the score line four two genji do show gods can bleed now toppling them over and taking them down a very um, different story hollow had to put up a hat trick one of the best performances and then i'm just watch partying mika tournament, and that was still only enough to take two and games. This Gen then uh he's on immunotherapy now insanity um except he started scratching at his months. injection site after um about two 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 and a half months um he started scratching at his injection site so now he's got a bald spot on his back, which is why he's wearing a shirt, because he's got a bandage under that and the shirt to keep him from scratching his injection site more. I'm looking forward to what they bring to the grand final, because if G2 get there, that is a tougher team than troubleshooters, at least on paper. So what could that final look like? And could we get even close to an upset in our other semis? I, I think the other semi does actually have a pretty good potential for upset just based on the fact that we have seen 12 bricks beat that G2 team. Uh, but yeah. Granted, it was, I think, like, so, five weeks ago before G2 started winning. Baby boy's been through a lot, but he can go longer times without his cone. But he can go longer times um, just chilling and relaxing now than he could before. He doesn't scratch right away a lot of the time. And he has a lot of fur on his neck now, Insanity. Sweet baby boy has a lot of fur on his neck now. It's not the same. Um, it's not the same, but he his fur is growing. Yeah, no, Tesla Spippy, they literally all they ask for is um all they all they do is is text. That's that's all they do. Like they just text for verification and that's it. They don't use the number in like any other circumstance. That's that's all they do. They just they just send a text with a code for verification. They don't use the number for anything else. Cuz like Spider-Man's done it. They don't like they don't like text him or call him or anything. They, they, it's literally only for verification. Nice hair today. Thank you. Thank you. How you doing, Barnsdale? But yeah, so I have to freaking find a fourth number to use. I'm just like, bruh.
definitely looks fancy today. I don't know. I literally just like brushed it and then put a hat on. Um, but yeah, and I, I honestly don't know. Um, what I'm gonna do. So. I don't, I don't know how many more numbers I got. <laughs> what are you sniffing around for, handsome? Randy's over here freaking... Licking, licking his chest hair. Oh, baby boy. You licking your chest hair? He's also licking his freaking t-shirt. Move insanity. I moved back in with my parents, but I'm literally moving into my own apartment in like five days, four days, six days. Five, six days. So I'm about to move again, actually. <laughs> I've been here since September. So I have like a lot of stuff in storage, but we're about to, we're about to giddy out of here, um, here soon. Spider-Man, you got, you got any, uh, any extra numbers for me? <laughs> Incredible way to kick off the semifinals here for the Star Chasers Showdown presented by Ally. It was an intense matchup there, Lemon, between Gen G and Troubleshooters who shot back full force more than maybe we even anticipated. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to find the. Do you need one? I can supply. <laughs> look crazy. But, um, Listen. That was a, also a crazy series. We weren't sure. I know it seemed like a hot take at the beginning. Spider Man, like, oh, please. Gen G losing a game. Why would you ever predict that? I miss a lot. Uh, hopefully, the internet region is better than too, the house. Man. Uh, insanity i'm actually getting i'm not moving far away i'm literally moving only like a couple miles from my parents house um it's just easier this way like there's just i feel like there's just so much going on because i actually really love where i used to live like i really like that area and i'm very comfortable with it and i really enjoy it and it's cheaper as well um that here um by like I, I don't know like a hundred hundred fifty dollars for like same quality apartment um or even like bigger apartment and um and yeah like it's but um there's just like a lot going on right so i just like i feel like i need to like stay to actually find near my family right now even though they weren't even a um but insanity i will have fiber internet one gig up and one gig down fiber internet so hopefully hopefully it doesn't suck yeah for for sure spider-man for sure when it does rebound out to midfield you've got somebody in rotation versus what we saw Landy sniffing away do they send emails very often spider-man said that and to do that is because it's going for demos if they hit one of those demos if they hit a bump then they you need extra touches to get those because obviously in verification with the it's a very different strategy but it is a viable one we see it a lot at the highest phone numbers i also had to use unfortunately for troubleshooters here today though i don't really have many of those one that was out of class that gen gene rotation is just so unbelievably solid yeah the the hyper aggression in that kind of regard right and we saw some pretty insane uh plays coming out like including a hat trick from bella who has actually our ally match unfortunately MVP of the semi-final bella i feel like there's so much to say about her we had the chance to do an interview with her yesterday lemon and she's come in full force uh, with the expectations uh, and solidifying these wins here for genji <laughs> you said exactly right. Uh, they have fiber there. That is the place. Yeah, yeah, Bella. for sure. I mean, so like, and the thing is, insanity. It's it's like eighty bucks a month. Like for one gig up, one gig down fiber. Out of nowhere and then dunk on people. 
like I'm pretty I sure I paid more for that. Against Bella on the other side of the field. And then um, her, like you said, uh, she got a hat trick and her Like I I'm pretty sure I paid more for that for my internet in my old place and it was literally like freaking one gig down and 50 up and it was trash and, and, and not fiber. It's a perfect third for them who will either go and so. make space for them in the net or Katya will hit, hit double taps of her own. Like she is not a third. She is like part of that see. unit. Hey, it's like it, a unit is exactly the way that you put it, right? I mean, at the end of the day, you gotta call it for what it is. Uh, the synergy. That yeah, it's a spippy. It's like, dude. Over the years, is palpable. There are the pitch, and we do get to talk to that perfect third. Um, actually, right now in an interview here that we have with Katya. I need a uh, freaking. Congratulations, Katya. How are you doing? Um, uh, GGs, and how are you feeling about making it to grand finals? Um, and thank you for having me, obviously. Um, it's just really exciting to- Cheap in comparison, right? And it's like, why so is that? It's feeling, like, super good heading into finals. Why is, like, why is that yeah. cheaper? Um, you know? Uh, yeah. Like, I genuinely don't know. A little bit more about, why is better um, internet cheaper? Prepare for weekends like this as, as well, I guess, like, I guess I know why for my cases there might be so many in this scenario, get to be because the two companies like the company that i use and the company my parents use like they're one of the like sole companies that provide decent internet yeah we definitely um replay review um you know we always in this area so like my old place like they had like kind of a monopoly and they were they're like only in arkansas and they had kind of a monopoly on the area right and then you have what my parents use here which is also not a like widespread place um and they have a little bit of a monopoly here so like they charge more right versus like at&t who like runs all over all over the united states right so it's like they're cheaper is that something that you had to like work on over the years or is that like a characteristic that comes very naturally to you and is just kind of part of your nature and personality i think it's natural i played like a lot of competitive sports growing up and and you know until very recently still did so i think that it might you know my friends and family would probably say the same if i was confident and i was really on it i actually was a goalkeeper so you know being the third man kind of oh, cool. goalkeeper <laughs> um but yeah, if I was confident, if I was, you know, going at things like head on and everything like that, I was playing the best. And I think that, you know, translates into everything I do and including Rocket League. Oh, I love hearing that. I feel like I've heard a, a couple Same. pipeline stories of um, esports players going from like traditional sports and then pivoting into esports and whatnot. But yesterday I got the chance to interview yeah. Bella and she told us a little bit about uh, Genji's goals going forward into the future. Um, but with you on interview with us today, I actually Hi, Seagull, how are you? Shine the spotlight more on... Yeah, exactly, it's so spippy. So it's literally like, they just, they just have a freaking monopoly. How you envision, uh, progressing within your future as a player. So they, like, charge more, uh, I guess? I think I... I'm for really worse I internet. I think that we have a lot of big things coming up, and Radiant was kind of, you know, it was my favorite event from last year, and it was something we were really ready for. Um, but personally, I've, I've spent a lot of time in the Rock League scene. I had the game since it came out, um, and I had never really focused on getting better, improving, you know, getting on a team or anything like that. I just kind of played, and I really was just kind of had a natural talent for it, and then went with that. But I think recently, when we've been playing, I've really thought about what it is that I need to work on. Um, so I've taken like the extra hours to kind of work on my own personal stuff and mechanics and all that my stuff. My gosh. And I think that it has- I hate that my freaking mouse isn't game, working. But it's definitely not at the level. Or like um, the scroll it wheel, it's it's but actually so annoying. Just, like, really tried to take the time and look at myself and what I can be doing better. Well, I love hearing that, that journey of growth and the goals that you have there when it comes down to that. I have a Logitech. Um, is there- are there any- I know that you you have the grand finals, obviously, get ready for and whatnot, like. so I don't want to keep you for too much longer. Um, but do you have any thank yous, shoutouts, or even anything that you want to say or to the team that you might be facing off against during grands? Oh, um, shout out Genji, <laughs> shout out Mobile One. Um, G2, definitely our best competition. I'm excited to play them again. 
um, Hold on, real quick. revenge for some stuff that's been going on uh, recently in terms of weeklies. Um, I think there's a lot of people in the scene who want to see us fail, and I'm excited to, you know, at least be in the grand finals, and we've proven a lot, but I still want to take that extra step and get to the, you know, the championship. I can't wait to see. Um, I, looking forward to seeing like how you end up growing as a player and continue to push forward. And uh, you guys heard it here first. Katya's peak is unseen. Uh, here. yes. What time has been said? About a minute. Sorry, I was like going through. It. And good luck with grand okay. finals to you and the rest of Gen G. Thank you so much. Oh, what a lovely and sweet interview. I mean, you love to be able to check in with the players and see how things are going and also give them a chance to highlight themselves because that's what it, this event is all about here on the Star Tracer Showdown is really elevating women within Rocket League. We do have that second semifinal coming up. So we're going to toss to a quick break before we come back with the other side of the bracket. Um, but yeah, Spider-Man, really, we could do it, like, we could do it whenever, to be honest with you. Um, genuinely, whatever, whatever, like, works. Okay, right, let's see. Placement wheel roller. LOL, I got freaking equipment, like, uh, workout equipment. Whoopsie! Bro, this would be the, the first time that I would potentially replace a mouse because it doesn't work. I actually, so here's the thing, is I actually do have another mouse. Um... I don't know if I have it with me, though. I don't think I do. I think it's in my storage. Y'all, I'm so hungry. Five oh twos. Why do you never eat? I do eat. I ate after stream last night. Where, yeah, I mean, I have not had this one very long, but that. But like, and I even still have like the pattern on, on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, the pattern isn't even rubbed off, but, like, the mouse wheel is broken. The bad news, Spider-Man. Oh, I was about to say, I was going to say the bad news is that I have no idea how to take this apart. Look at him. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, giving me kisses. Oh, I like those. Thanks, handsome. So hungry, Spader. Spader, please. But yeah, I, I, uh. Yeah, I have a I have a Corsair mouse somewhere. I it's I feel like it's I feel like it's in my storage unit. But tell me what I'm telling lies. It's because Spader, I don't ever eat until stream. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm like always hungry. 
Because a lot of the time, the last time I ate was like after stream the night before. Or like lunch. You know? That's usually what happens. Oh my gosh, we've already been live for an hour and 20 minutes. That's because that game went like really long. Going to work in an hour, what's up Heather? How are you? How are you doing? Oh my goodness. Maybe I'll grab like a freaking snack or something. Are you hungry too? Are you hungry too? Oh, more kisses? Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Oh. Uh, meat stick or tube? Insanity. Which one? Which one's baby boy getting? He gets so excited. Look at him. Look at that little guy. Welcome back, everyone, to the Star Chaser Showdown presented by Ally. We just saw no, last year's reigning champions of the Star Chaser Showdown, Gen G Black, make it all the way to the grand finals. But now it's time to find out who Come they're going to hey, be it's over here, silly goose. up against. Because when we're looking at this playoff bracket here, Bass, I, I think Look we, at little, we expected Gen G little to, be baby. to make it over towards that grand finals. But again, troubleshooters, they did also put up a great. Bro, he already freaking ate oh, more than half of it. Fantastically. The Again, the Come on, Otter! Truth for them is that, you know, Come on, Otter! If you have one winner on the day, each of these series can only have one winner. Despite an incredible performance from all three players, shout out to Hollow in particular for an insane game number five. It's still not going to be enough to take down somebody like He's so he's fluffy. Yeah, like his his neck first coming back in. And honestly, I think oh, Bubba. The neck first coming back in. Though, with G2 and 12 yes, it is. Um, I mean, yes, it is. Be about That's the thing, before. Insanity, is that he isn't even as fluffy as he could be. Because his fur, like, you look at it, his fur is like, is like, but when we're looking now over it's like frayed bricks, because of like the, chain, like the cone and the and the wrap around his neck low. like it's and it's starting to grow out I'm but it's like it's frayed it's not anywhere near as long as it uh should be nowhere, and same with like his the, the front as well on that team and uh, really showed us her stuff yeah, Lilo and Nacho um got together for this roster. Oh, Mimi boy. Uh, around the time of the night started happening, so around a few months ago. And the, this roster is full of pieces that have achieved. So How's Randy? He's win. doing like, better. Hustle Spippy, so but I wouldn't say he's doing great. Scissors. Um, was part of he scratched his back bald, which is why he is wearing a shirt. It's so that he cannot reach his back. Um, and scratch it more because he's been itching back there. So, um, that's why he's wearing a shirt. He's wearing a bandage and a shirt. Where they're limited so that so he does not uh keep hurting himself that'd be a big question because i think also guys we have to consider the fact that i actually need to rewrap him again two teams and especially over towards g2 they're gonna have that weight on their shoulders being the team that's signed to an organization they have the recent pickup in tally bird as well so that additional weight but like look what he's done to, it. to making it towards those brands especially with how they've been beating out gen g in those weeklies yeah, I think the reality is here is that like from scratching himself for the fact that over the last year or two they really have been the most dominant team in all of women's Rocket League as of recent. So now G two, G two, like you mentioned, he's like torn this thing to shreds trying to scratch team. himself. The fact of the matter is, prior but luckily, to them winning this the shirt and this has been enough. Opinion is they were without a coach. He's only now gotten through one layer. He hasn't gotten through like this layer, which is the which is the first layer that goes on him. And I think all three of these women are playing so. Of their abilities right now. Well, I made. I do not. Have looked so immaculate as of late. It's why we actually. I do not. No. Chance here. G two on a hot streak like no other team in women's rocket. 
It's a but yeah, sweet, sweet little boy. Uh, foe to go and face up against there. But let's just send it Hold straight on. into our second semifinal of the day here for the Star Chasers showdown. Look at him licking NA. his back. It is a G2 versus 12 bricks. That's a lot you can of see if he stops licking it, you'll be able to see the bald spot. I don't know why there's 12 bricks. We forgot to go get like go do a deep dive on the lore. Why oh, yeah. 12 bricks? Why is there right here? Is his little why bald spot? Y'all can see how much better it looks though. Like that, that this is like really dry lot, and flaky, like, but it's darker here, here because he's growing his fur back. I gotta send a DM to like one of them and just be like, yo. Wait, where did this come from? We might not still get the answer, but we'll at least get the answer to who's making. He's decisions. growing. He's growing back fur. So like we mentioned, if you're Gen G, you are fully relying on G2 making it out here, not just for the. Yeah, team Spader. Team it's it's been over team, two weeks, right? And revenge. it's still so, not the fact that it's still not healed over two off, weeks. You're Gen G and your fans, you're probably rooting for G2 to do as you expect them to and find a spot in that semi. Well, the good right. news, the good no news, yeah, Spiffy, is look at his neck though. Here, quit licking yourself. And they only Lift got up. Tally Bird in March. But Look at his neck, though. All the thirds, you get the absolute He's got his fur growing back. And there's no there's no wound the there anymore. The so that's now the progress. There's no wound that, there anymore. G2. The fur is <laughs> starting to... The fur has been growing back. We, we, about so it. at least really there is that. Yes, this is from when he, uh, when I was talking about how he scratched him, his injection site, Spader. That, that is from before, uh, that is from when I took him to the vet. Or, like, right before that, I, before I took him to the vet. So he, he scratched himself to still be healing a couple weeks later. But in all, in all honesty, Spader, he heals pretty slow. Like, Rand, Randy's always healed slow. He, his neck has healed slow. Um, his back heals slow. Like, just when, like, he hurts himself, his his healing is very, very, very slow. For whatever reason. Even when I would use, like, healing, like, creams and stuff. Which is why I've mostly just left that alone. To let him just, like, let his body just do its thing. <laughs> I've talked about the achievements for 12 bricks, the fact that this is 18 that But is lately, because it's been so dry, or not lately, but today and yesterday. Look, it makes him so itchy, though. Okay, come here, baby. We gotta wrap you up. He knows, so angry. So angry. Angry baby. But it's really putting up the results. There's a reason why we hype up this G2 team. It is not just for nonsense. It truly is because they have the accolades to back themselves and the results to prove it. Look at these passes. Lilo? Oh, I thought she was going for the double tap and B can still create more opportunities for 12 bricks as G2. Been stuck on this defense for a little while. He's karma dodges the 50, but can't get the second one off her back. Lilo wins this off the wall. Avenger needs a good touch, keeps it out from in front of the net. And G2 is scrambling to get out. Tally will get the corner boost, but gets demoed. Or is she still there? I don't know. Lilo, though, has her occupied, and G2 have to back away. I'm sorry, B. Did I oh, he watch hates that when I put Did on this reverse into this first save and then make a second one? All right, so well, upset. you met the player we know the least about in this lobby. I'm he doesn't mind once he has it on, but like, my <laughs> goodness, the performance you're putting in so far has been stellar. Let's see if she can help her team get a goal. A couple of lead blocks. No shot found and Avenger should be able to clear the lines here and get it out to midfield. He gets he so he gets so angry every time I put his shirt on. Day, day, thank you for the follow on TikTok. I appreciate it. Your cat's so cute. Thank you, William. And despite you know you talking about Um but yeah, he gets he gets so incredibly upset. Like he'll be fine when I after I put it on, but he gets so mad. Like during the process. Cause like when I wrap when I wrap him and put the shirt on, he's just he's just angry. He's my little my little angry boy. He gets irritated with me. I'm sorry. I'm so handsome. I do need to get him actually, legitimately need to 
get him another another rap because he's ruined that one that a heads up bump is great you know what's better pulls off the kickoff this has got to hurt for 12 bricks or a pack of elastic bandages I'm going like that for the lead sure five rolls six go from a two sizes in the blink of an eye 12 bricks you can't discount them the the same way you couldn't discount Gen G's opponent of troubleshooters who took them the five pack T2 may seem like a more beatable team just based on how but yeah literally just a compression bandage because it's so thick but with this third of tally bird this is a new and improved G2 and not that it's so thick but it's like because they're thicker and I can like also latch it onto itself really nice and he's like torn that one that he's wearing up I can get multiple more on uh Tuesday. I don't know if I need six inches. Like six inch width. He doesn't need like no six inch inch width. To harass the backboard, try these low shots. G2 have saved everything. This is like, if it were like half that, or even a player, G2 now hold that midfield. Like, maybe because here's one that's a six pack, four inch, maybe, or like three. And 12 bricks is trying to escort this in, and even that gets denied. I gotta give credit. I'm not sure who got the save there for G2. I mean, Luna, it's like multiple sizes. I need, like, I feel like I need, like, a. Actually gonna end up. Decided to predict that the bounce out would be correct, and they predicted perfectly. It, it's just like six inches of so much of his body. Like, can I get, like, four inch ones? Or something? Like, multiple four inch ones? Avenger can't get up to it. B can drop it down. Where's the shot? Nacho waiting and waiting too long with an offender in front of her she didn't want to spike it into the defense but unfortunately she had no other option g2 narrowly take game four one. inch bandages thing, narrowly a box of a four. 30 second fumble by 12 bricks when that had you know it's only a one goal lead but g2 robbed them of that within like i said okay 30 seconds and it was maybe four inch would be fine for him round pitch from that defender of g2 when 12 bricks were just trying to bulldoze the net and and find that equalizer it was that close Five let me measure this one the one that he's wearing currently keep g2 at only a one goal lead that's insane that was definitely a very okay first game this yeah is why four four signs squishy retired hey squishy didn't retire from streaming that's literally that's literally what he does now I'd like to point out we talk about those weekly events that have been going on. Okay, so We're let's grab these out of one of those events entirely with a 2-0 win over them in the lower bracket. The issue was that was before G2 got their coach. So it's a little bit of a different thing now as the two teams seem to have both leveled up, but G2 four inch uh, ones for little baby like boy. I don't know, six or seven to like level for sweet, they sweet, 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 right now that are on a hot sweet, 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 <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know, boy, we're gonna see that. Oh my goodness. But G2 only won narrowly as Karma. Y'all, less than one week. You guys, you know, the like, the literal worst thing is that I'm going to have to pack my stream stuff again and then unpack it again. You know that was, like, the worst part was unpacking my stream stuff? Except this time, I'm gonna have to unpack everything I own. I'm gonna have to unpack everything I own. And here's here's another issue, is that I don't have scissors. I don't have a box cutter, I don't have scissors, and all these things are taped shut. Yeah, I'm gonna be taking everything out of storage. I think Spider-Man, I think I might order the trash can and the cubes to be used um 
to the 20 scissors i could tell you i could not tell you your girl has zero clue maybe maybe i have them packed away i don't know i don't know i have no clue I guess, like, realistically, they, they're they probably packed away, right? Right? Like, probably? Thoughts? Thoughts? Listen, when I moved out, I was throwing things away like crazy. I was like, don't need this, don't need this, don't need this, don't need this, don't need this. Nope, don't need that. Our trash can when i moved will was packed to the brim uh josh this is the star chasers showdown presented by ally so it is a women's rocket league tournament um featuring rocket league so kind of a little bit sponsored by rocket league to my knowledge i'm not 100 percent sure i know that they have definitely um endorsed it so and trash well it wasn't like they were good scissors insanity they were like cheap scissors from like walmart or something you know what i'm saying like they weren't like they weren't like nice pairs of like good pairs of scissors Like, like they like worked, but they 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 weren't good scissors. I would have cooked that person. Oh, I I saw parallax. I saw. Sometimes you just choose to ignore things. You know what I'm saying? Woo! What's up? How are you? Kitchen shears to open box scissors. <laughs> Well, I didn't really, I didn't really use the kitchen scissors to really open boxes often, because I would just tear them open with my hands. No, I literally tore them open with my hands. You would literally, you would literally talk all the time about how I would just rip open boxes and would not use like scissors at all. I would just get a box and I would just tear it open with my hands. I wouldn't use a box cutter. I wouldn't use scissors. I hardly ever even took scissors out of that drawer. I, I literally opened everything with my hands. I did, however, I did, however, use those scissors at points in time for randy's uh what is it for randy's what's it called like cutting his uh bandages and stuff i definitely use those scissors for that pretty often the boxes i tore those open with my hands i ain't even worried about that especially amazon boxes they are literally so easy like the tape they use is like very thin and very easy to tear. I did, Tesla Spimpy. I did. I did. I'm telling you. Thank you for the follow, by the way. I appreciate it. But Randy's, uh, Randy's, what's it called? His uh, bandages and stuff. I could not. I, I can't tear those with my hands. So I definitely use the kitchen scissors for that. Thousand percent. All the time. I had those and like one other pair of scissors that I always used. Listen, we say shears, but they literally... Uh, why do kitchen scissors literally just look like a, like normal scissors, but like a little thick? All I'm saying.
And the second one, All I'm saying. I say the same. Big issue we've seen here, and we've mentioned it a lot, whether it was yesterday or today, is that G2 are a team. They may not hit Zero? the ground running, but they... Yeah, but they, they, they like look like normal up. scissors. Well, it really just goes to show you, Tallybird putting up a performance there. Adventure didn't even really need to be you know? too involved. She's just slightly, back midfield. slightly less. like thicker. That's literally what all Avenger had to do, was just sit in that... You know what I'm saying? Zero shot. Like, I don't know. I look at that, and I just cut meat with a knife. I don't know. Energy. I thought maybe they got one, but I just really cut. I just cut meat with a knife. And when Avenger just gets the ball and beats. The and I just use the scissors for utility. Whatever. Though, like I said, I did usually tear open the boxes, but I did use scissors quite often. And although sometimes we talk about over aggression and teams getting a little bit too overzealous out of that midfield. Yeah, but I'm saying they just look like normal scissors. Like, do you know, like, they just, they just look like normal scissors. No Avengers there to contain it, put it right back into that offensive third. The midfield presence from them has been So I just use them as normal scissors. Because they just look like normal scissors. Nine pack of scissors? And since then, it's been completely quiet. A game three here that I'm gonna say is pretty important. As good as I think 12 bricks are, a reverse sweep. But I hardly use the scissors final. on the box. Not sure if I'm gonna say that that's all too like. Yeah, at least. Uh, Especially when you had a box cutter. Because you would just leave the box cutter on the island. I would just use the box cutter. What else? A good defense. I didn't even have to use the scissors. Good offense, but you gotta be able to demo Avenger. Do something about her. But I use my hands more than anything. Yeah, but they were like these scissors. Hold on. If you Google cheap Walmart scissors, they're like one of the first pair that you see. No joke. Bro, like, they were so bad that, like, it was almost like they were safety scissors. Well, listen. Uh, the scissors that Will bought, there was there was an abundance parallax. Some some of them were longer. Some of them were 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 uh, shorter. And they literally looked like this. No, they didn't look like that. Those look too. Those look nicer. They almost look like safety scissors. I I would actually. There was only one pair of scissors of the nine he bought that I would try to use, and because the rest of them did not really work, like when I would cut things. Oh, that was how bad they were. But I still may have kept them. I'm not sure. I, I genuinely do not know. Case closed. Those scissors that you bought didn't even work. So you needed more expensive. We needed more expensive scissors than that. Because... If they don't even work for the cheap things, then they're useless. They they were useless scissors. Oh, they're doing it right now. They're forcing double commits out of G2. We haven't seen them play a lot of defense, so it's understandable that they're a bit awkward on it. They gotta clean it up. Like, they, they literally did not work. Begging to use them is... What? What scissors am I begging to use? When did I beg to use scissors? I didn't beg to use anyone's scissors. What did I even ask for someone's scissors? I ain't asked for no one's scissors. I said that I'm gonna have to buy scissors. Whose scissors did I beg to use? 
is the concern. When Either you're way, comfortable only playing offense. The moment you're forced to I will likely look a little bit awkward. Take my parents' Avengers, scissors the player that's patrolling mid that I have mid somewhere at bay. The minute that right she here of an offense, and all of a sudden, her two teammates are starting to play a little bit more defense that they're right here for. And awkward. use these to open the boxes. Almost stab myself with them, with them scissors. Right now is not working. Oh, G2 managed to deal with that pressure that 12 bricks <clears throat> were putting on a bit better. And now that you can punish that midfield out of G2, you just have these long. I don't know if they can really get away with it, but I also said that. Really? Because the insanity. Happened. These are not. 12 bricks. Uh, these are not, uh, like, scissors that, like, uh -oh. came with my parents' thing. Like, my parents have had the same set for a long time, and they actually have, like, scissors that came with their knife set, right? These were not them. My parents had these tossed into it in a drawer. Relax, thank you for the hundred fifties. My parents had them tossed in a drawer. So I just grabbed them and started using them. I don't think my parents have ever used these to cut meat. And not the first one won't be the, the last. Ideally, it would be the last for 12 bricks. And now, backboard being harassed, shot taken. But oh. you bet your two butt cheeks. I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna be opening them boxes with this bad boy. Best, best believe it. Best believe it. They actually need multiple goals of their own, and they're trying for it. This one's awkward, not a double commit, but it's at least going to force multiple players to the backboard, make the defense a little bit frazzled. Can they capitalize? G2, good offense. Where's the shot? Avengers, just what I'm going to do. For the follow. Wow. It just is what it is. Ensuring that that was going to go in. It's karma that sets it up from the corner. And knew that Lilo could have maybe got a touch By the way, if I didn't use those scissors in the knife set, they literally never would have been used once. Not one time. They literally would have never been used. All I'm saying. In favor of 12 bricks, a midfield that was finally being figured out. They literally go, were kick off, never kick off, kick off. once they used. They are unrelenting. They will never say die, and they may also say bye bye to 12 bricks if they can take another game after this one. And over time, all I'm losing, saying. But it feels like G2 have all I'm the just momentum in the putting world. them to use. He said, momentarily, Avenger there, pops it high, Lilo awkward, where's the shot? It's on target! Kali and Avenger, honestly, 12 bricks is pretty decent. No, no, insanity, insanity, insanity. They were so much better than the cheap Walmart scissors. Well, I don't even know if they were from Walmart. I don't know where they were from. They were they were cheap cheap scissors with the blue with a blue handle. And it was like a whole pack, but like only like one of the scissors worked. And I used those pair of scissors pretty I wouldn't say often. But I used them over other pairs of scissors. Like I said, or I use my hands. Like I would open boxes just with my hands, but lead and then watch it evaporate before your eyes and it's not just that it evaporates they're always near the top yeah um they scored their first goal i think with like a minute g2 g2's done uh pretty well parallax obviously they're their top four um what they're beating they're beating bricks at the moment 12 bricks which is nacho lilo and b which is a pretty solid team um i watched them play once yesterday uh, I don't know how they did against Gen G. But, you know, I mean, it's no surprise. Like, let's say, let's say G2 come out of this, right? It's not a huge surprise, G2 coming out versus, um, versus Gen G for the finals, you know? It's not, it's not a, a big surprise, right? 
Though, I will say 12 Bricks and Troubleshooters are both pretty good teams and can definitely bring it to G2 and Gen G. Troubleshooters uh, actually, I think, got kind of close to beating uh, beating Gen G, actually. But yeah, Insanity, they do have the thing in the middle. But, like I said, this was just in, like, some random drawer. So, I just started using them. The adjustments from this team, the ability to change it up on the flip of a switch drops to them. And unfortunately for 12 Bricks, they have had to face off against this incredible play for three games straight now and have yet so, to get a win. So, I just use them for Randy's. The I use them for, well, really for whatever, really for whatever I need. need I use them for game. whatever I need. It's feeling like the impossible for 12 Bricks so. to do a miracle run. Not only a best seven reverse sweep, but to deal with the loss that you just did in over and a 3 lead that was same in same minute, as in my so previous beautiful. household you got to sort of my parents kitchen making, shears aka thick so scissors G slightly literally almost normal looking scissors this, and these are that have the also have never so would never be used if they were not just used for normal things Hello again. Hi, Larry. They would just simply never be used. Speaking of things that will never be used. Y'all, I've still only worn my black my black pair of uh, of shoes like one time, maybe twice, and I've had them for like three months. Or two months, whatever. See, I understand insanity because I get cutting up meat with scissors, I guess. But like I said, I'm just going to use, like, knives. For free? Yeah, that, those. Spider-Man, the one I got for free. Do you even wear shoes? I do. Sometimes. I mean, not when I'm just, like, sitting in the house, but... I wear my white shoes the most, though. Like, the... My plain white pair of shoes. Those are the ones I wear the most. So... She actually doesn't even have to get out of the play. She's still there for offense, and so is Tally. Final shot denied. Foot mittens? I mean, I don't, like, wear shoes in the house, no. Sometimes I wear slippers. times. They will go after it and find Sometimes score. sometimes I wear slippers, but Yeah, it's when you're in a situation like this and G2 are finding every rebound. Yeah, no, same to me, Insanity. That's why I just use the scissors for like normal things, because I I'm not gonna cut the meat with the scissors. Right? Like I'm just gonna use an I'm just gonna put I'm just gonna have a cutting board and then I'm just gonna put the knife or the food on the cutting board and cut it with a knife. Now with that demo like a normal person. S using scissors is not necessarily abnormal, but I would say it's much more abnormal than using a using a knife. I've seen so I've watched so many cooking videos on TikTok, right? I've only ever seen one person using scissors. And and this guy is not a chef. He cooks very abnormally in general and cooks very strange foods. Not strange foods, just like he does things very interesting. But he doesn't only cut like meat. Like he just he just uses the knife to cut things up into small like um, squares for his daughter because his daughter's baby. Yeah, like cubes for his daughter. Okay, tennis man. Listen, it it, it ain't that serious. They they ain't even really cubes. They're just like square like shaped just small pieces chunks yes he cuts them up into small chunks
chunks, you know, for his daughter. But that's, like, all he uses, like, the scissors for. And it's, like, it doesn't matter what it is. He does it with anything. Like, not just, like, meat. He, he'll, he'll, like, he'll cut it into, like, small chunks, no matter, like, like, regardless. He uses, like, scissors to freaking, I'm pretty sure, cut grapes. For ground beef? Well, I don't... I eat chicken more than ground beef. I don't use scissors for chicken. Why you gotta be that way? Be what way? She cut the bacon with scissors? He does cut the bacon. But he literally cuts the bacon while it's still in the package. So he'll, like, cut through the package and through the bacon. And then take it out like that. Oh, I didn't say he wasn't right. I just said, like, that people understand what I mean. That's not that serious. Yeah, he, like, would cut through the, the package. Um, and the bacon. And that's how he would, like, cut his bacon up into pieces. Well, that's what I'm saying. This is the guy that uses, uh, scissors. Does it really hurt you that much to be wrong? No. No, it doesn't? Send her incorrect statements. She is just oh, really? <laughs> off right now. Every single goal this game is from her. Just to give you guys an understanding of Well, like yeah, not everything has to be proper. Total goals for the rest of her team. For it to make sense. The series. Total goals for Tally as of right now. 9. She is outscoring, you know, like by double the amount. No, I'm saying outscoring the opponents by even greater. The win definitively G2. Like I'm just giving a general description of how a kid cuts food for his like his baby. I I I don't need to I don't need to be proper to describe how someone uses scissors to cut sausage patties. They've been. They've incorporated Tally Bird. <laughs> smooth as butter on the pitch. It, this is going to be a really tough matchup for Genji in that grand final. And at least it, they're following the script. All the G's are heading to the finish line. I. Uh, it's the battle of the G's. Because I, I Spader, I did not G2 disagree G2 with him. G2 I just said that people know what I mean. Yeah. At the same time, yeah. I have to imagine that. Both where, where was, where was either one of us wrong? In, in, in that specific, like, I s literally said he was right. Confused. Not, not gonna lie. You know, Tesla Spibi, he also does this weird thing where, like, every time he puts, like, like, a chunk of something in his mouth, like, cheese, um, like, he'll just put, like, shredded cheese in his mouth, and he does it, like, dip. Like, he'll, like, stuff it into, like, like so, down here which is so, so odd like, i don't i don't understand i don't i don't get it that's what i'm saying this is the only guy i know that uses scissors to cut his food or to to cut like meat and he's the guy who takes wads of cheese and stuffs them in his mouth like dip and he's, a, he's the only person I know. The only person I've seen on TikTok use scissors. His name's like Brayden or something. Insanity. Like uh, on TikTok. Like B-R-E-A-D-E-N, I think. Something like that. No, I would say I would say nine times out of ten I, I say things. I th I say things um correct. I just think there are some things in life that are not important. Like, like, how offended would people be if I said 
he cut something into squares instead of cubes. I literally think Tennis Man is the only person that would ever notice and and it matter enough to say something. You know what I'm saying? You know what I think? Well, he did say it's his favorite attribute. Tennis Man? As much as Tennis Man says I don't care about being correct, Tennis Man just wants me to be wrong. His, his desire, Tennis Man has the strongest desire in the world for me to just be wrong. Milady, I've had to wipe Tennis Man's butt before. Probably one of the most proper streamers I watch. Yeah, because I, well, here's, here's like the, the thing is like, I, I'm not always going to be correct in sanity, but I oftentimes do try to be very correct. Um, because I don't like, <laughs> this is to me helping her be proper. Tennis man's butt. Once or twice, twice, Tussle Spippy. Once or twice, man. Sometimes it happens. That's what homies are for. What's up, David? <laughs> Did I consent? <laughs> I think so. I think so. I don't that last semi-final went exactly the way that we were expecting here in that See, matchup again. See, listen, but we, we all we all know at least this part to be so fact. Tennis Man just enjoys insulting me. Like, like when my, my, uh, what's it called wasn't working. My videos, uh, when I downloaded a VOD, he just calls me stupid. Um, and saying, I didn't know what to do, or like, no, not that I didn't know what to do. He essentially called me stupid, right? Even though I had already figured it all out. Idiot, same thing. He, he's sitting there, he's sitting there insulting me and sitting here saying this, this, and that is not even true. Inaccuracies. In accuracies. Got it all figured out. Listen. I've had to I've had to wipe Randy's butt once or twice. I'm not gonna lie. Rose got a long, long a long fluffy butt. Or a long fluffy hair on his butt, rather. I'm just saying. Sometimes. The things you do for the things you love, Tussle Spippy. Randy's had to have a few butt wipings. Message me. Make sure you're not overexerting yourself. And I think that type of pressured situation is just something they are not uh, used to. That's a spippy. That was very emblematic in game uh, three, where we saw the uh, zero and then very what? We just what woman? I think these guys are going to be around for a very long time to come. I think that this has been comfortable enough. Sure, they just need some more reps. What? Say they are up there with the most of the. Yeah, and when you're looking towards G2 as well here, uh, Lemon, obviously they're carrying... What, what women the ask their to the grand final. another they, they didn't have that random woman to wipe to or touch match. them like that? I think this is going to be a really positive effect for... Never you. happened to me, I've got to say. Never happened to anyone I know, I've got to say, that I know of. But rather just mechanically, 
they're executing, you know, your double tap. Kali especially, okay? Like, yes, yeah, she got, like, the majority of the goals. So, Kali is, is peaking today. I feel like, I feel like we're going a little too far. Mechanically, and that was something little, that was, like, little too, a little too, too far here. But now that they're against really respectable opponents, I think now G2, are, not that they weren't fully... I don't really talk to people in the bathroom. They know that they have to play at 200% in order to like, be number one in this group. Yeah, it's uh, it's really true. Everything that you said there, and when oh, I I don't try to make. I well, personally, I don't really make eye contact, contact with people either. And I've so rarely had know, someone try and talk to me in the bathroom. Down, uh, here for and Randy, you got all these tufts. I mean, they they speak for themselves. We talked about it. At the Look at that. We're cutting off Randy's tufts with the scissors. Let me just make sure I'm getting this one right. Bro, his tufts bother me. Y'all don't understand. When he's got these giant tufts on his paw, and his fur is not even, it bothers me. That's why I leave the door open. Little Randy Tuff. <laughs> she really just might, but there, there is. Some oh, handsome! To play with oh, handsome! Uh, oh, oh, sweet handsome! Teammates that we got the opportunity to have a little interview with, chat with Karma before we actually head into the grand. Bro, finals. this cat is so today. love. Congratulations on your win! How yeah, Tesla Spippy. I honestly, I will say. There are times when I make yeah, I, eye contact I with people, I, I'm not keep but like not often, and women, Stay warm, random women do not here for talk to me in the bathroom. But we do have some burning questions for you because like they do not they do not sit there and talk to me in the bathroom. I've hardly ever had an experience where where that happens, where people just um, speak to you in the bathroom. And it's still not where we want it to be, although we're trying. Pretty much, if you mind your own business, uh, like, the other woman is going to mind their own business. Nine nine times. Uh, more than nine uh, times out of ten. Yeah, everyone's working really hard. We're trying what is to up with this, like, following of Arma's face? And, um, it's, it's been going Flying? Well, and hopefully we can show what we've been working on. Um, Unfortunately. Okay, awesome. I, Do I so speak with friends? I mean, obviously, it's like so early days in yes. season for but typically, whatnot, so a lot of room for you guys to typically go when like gate, you guys are looking really great while we're like washing our hands right now so far. And you already mentioned Ryu, your coach, who has come in. That's also a, a new change here. For the Though I have had some friends, Spider-Man, that will talk to you while you're sitting on the toilet and while they're sitting on the toilet. And him being the coach or his style in that way. Um, I kind of call, we call him Commander Ryu. He's kind of like our general <laughs> on the field. Um, yeah. you know, he um check. Uh, it is. I don't know why it's there. He's to tell us when we're playing trash and keep it honest with us, which is something I appreciate. So, um, um I, I think he's doing a great job. He also is from, um, but yeah, from, like, uh, well, I, I, I would say with like with my play friends, play. like while I'm washing my hands, Spider-Man, yeah, I'll talk to him. Include that into our gameplay, so. He's helping with that, and uh, it's been going really well. That's awesome. Okay, so he runs a tight ship over there from what he it does. sounds like. And I, I do think that women will well, talk to each uh, other while well, they're going to the bathroom. If they know each other, and they know that no one else is in there. And you can see but like... Into your gameplay as a, as a core. Um, but like... To interview if there's with, other women uh, in there that you don't know, like you're not going to be... In my experience, you're not going to be talking to your friend. Basically, a mention that they were expecting to play you guys. I don't think... Like, oftentimes you'll leave. But if you're, like, the only ones in there and that's your friend, like, yeah. I've I've had several women talk to me while I'm going to the bathroom. Like, not... I, I don't know if I want to say several, but a few. So, how are you feeling going into this rematch now up against Genji? Um, I mean, Genji's the team. You know, they've so, been the team for the past year or so in North America. Um, it's going to be extremely difficult. You know, those three girls are all really talented. and they've Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, uh, Spider-Man. You know, if there are other people in there, then I will say and sometimes we talk. Sometimes we talk at the um, sink, but not always. Fun, but yeah, I think we're definitely feeling uh, confident just from how we've been playing. So, makes like sense, that. Tennis Man. Makes total sense. Uh, playing confident, it translates on the field well, looking forward to seeing what you guys are. But yeah, I I would say that it's not um. One last chance to give any shoutouts, thank yous. With friends, pretty common. With strangers, 
we yeah, we don't talk to each other though i will uh, say like sometimes past. i've had experiences and, uh, where um, like if you're going to wash your hands and someone's like yeah that sink doesn't work like that's happened to me before like that faucet doesn't work i've had people say like stuff like that to me on occasion but other than that like if we're not friends like we're not talking uh, good luck with your grand finals. Gonna let you swing back over. And if we're friends, it's usually talking while washing your hands. And like leaving. But I'm also not the type of woman that like goes to the bathroom with my friend, with my with my female friends, just to like go. You know, unless they ask me to right like i i don't say will you go to the bathroom to me like i don't i don't ask like my friends that like if we both need to go then we'll both go or like whatever but yeah like i don't say hey will you unless i'm in like an unsafe like right unless i don't feel safe going to the bathroom by myself like like if you're at like a party or something right and like a lot of the times you'll ask like a, a women will ask a friend to go to the bathroom with them death exploding ibs that was awkward it's i think it's always awkward when like you have to do some serious business in the bathroom in a public bathroom and other people are there but yeah no like like i said women women will talk to like their friends but they're not gonna sit there and like talk to random strangers usually like they'll talk to their friends though and usually that's like at at the sink you know washing the hands but i i guess i've had a couple friends that talk to me while i'm going to the bathroom which i admit is very awkward i think that's a very awkward thing if i'm if i'm going to the bathroom like whatever whatever you have to say can wait a minute you know what i'm saying like it is not it is not that it is not that urgent that you need to tell me in the minute that i'm on the toilet hi diecast i'm just saying i'm just saying it, it ain't that it ain't that urgent it's not that urgent this, this is just fact and and even then, there's nothing that I can do from the toilet, right? If I'm going to the bathroom, even if what you have to tell me is urgent, what can I possibly do while I'm on the toilet? There is nothing that I could do. Not a single thing. Like, you know, like what is even possible? No worries, tennis man. I got you. Yeah, boy. You're shining so bright. Yeah, Spider-Man, I, I think it's, like, weird, man. Personally. My mom's one of those people. Like, she doesn't, she doesn't, like, talk to strangers. But, like, she'll talk while going to the bathroom. Like, I'm going to the bathroom. You know, it gets really awkward when someone who's on the toilet is doing the talking in a bathroom that you think nobody's in, and then you realize that other people are in it. 
honestly, that's why you just don't speak on the toilet. Because that is so... So, so awkward. That is so awkward. Or like someone walks in Spider-Man and like you don't even like know they're there because they're just like walking. And then you're sitting there talking while you're on the toilet. And then like the like obviously the person that's not on the toilet can't sit there and be like, shut up, someone just walked in, right? That makes it even more awkward. You you know? Like <laughs> this is why you just shouldn't talk on the toilet. Also, never talk about private business in the bathroom. You never know who's in there. And okay, maybe not like you're ever going to see them again. So I guess it doesn't matter. But I swear, watch them come out like staring you down after you just aired your dirty laundry to your friend in the bathroom or something. Like, listen, this is not the place. I don't understand why people think it's the place. Like, what? <laughs> like, what? What? What is that? NDA? What type of business is it, Revert? Cough loudly? Bro, Cordai, honestly though, let's let's be real. Some people just like, they're just like, oh, are you okay? Like your friend would be like, oh, are you okay? <laughs> And then they just like, you're just like, uh, yeah, like, what do you say after that? <laughs> hey, some people can't take the hints, bro. Y'all, one of Randy's, uh, whiskers is like not... Is like, like, uh, curving the wrong way. And like, it stays in the proper position for a second and then it just like flops back. Pull it out? No, it's his longest whiskey. I'm not pulling it out. It's by far his longest whiskey. Randy, to be fair, Spader, Randy has weird shaped whiskers because of the cone. Like, not all of his whiskers very much so curve, like, a lot of them curve, like, super forward. Like, super, super forward. But this one curves like extra forward. Like it curves like like at this angle. Like versus the other ones that are like this. Like this one is like this. It's like a C shape. Versus the other ones who are just like a you know, like that. Entry stuff, I see, I see. But yeah, they would just like grow weird at, like they would still grow like curve spader because of the cone. Fratellus. I think so, actually. Get the straightener and fix it. Perfect, perfect. Y'all, we are almost on the last series of the day. Gen G Mobile One Racing Black versus G2 Stride Luna. We're about to get the last series of the day going, and after this, I will be getting off have been the titans of stream. Of the for so long, even with in, in, incorporating Cassia uh, last year, they are looking better than ever. They've won more championships than we can count. And this Spider-Man, please. Added onto the talent. Got got so got an extra three hours of stream this week. Commander Ryu, as Karma was saying, I'm tired though. Like I want a nap. It's like because in the last 24 hours. So I've slept on, like, like six the hours. We so they were like spread out. So I think so, like, have to play at their peak I slept. Yeah, Genji being the, the defending. Like title, literally in the last Genji three days, you know, I've probably gotten a total like sixteen hours of sleep, maybe. With this roster that has made the new move, Frankie I'm very tired. Here, Bass has looked like a very good change for them, and we're seeing a lot of what Karma was talking about in her interview translating onto the server. 
Like, literally, it's since, like, Friday or Thursday. Three plus hour rides? Let's go, Tennis Man. What do you usually get? Don't you? Do you usually get, like, a, a like, like, what, seven hours? Is it, like, seven or eight hours? Is, like, typical? Yeah, Spader. It, it does hurt sitting in the chair so much sometimes. But I will say, I really like this chair. And... My back and my butt used to hurt a lot more when I w was uh, in other, like when I used a different chair. Th this chair has been very helpful for my yeah, spine a, it and muscles, generally speaking. Run, right, but even though Gen G have been, I think, just so dominant within the NA region, it, it's G2 have been the ones that have been taking them down, and that's why the, the G Gen G is looking at that potential for revenge. But uh, we do want to get straight into so. our grand finals. With no further ado, we are going to head straight into Gen G versus G2. Yeah, Ch I think so. I think I think like for my schedule or um like gym stuff. There's a lot riding on. Now there's like a lot depending on this. Like obviously, if I get like a part-time position, right, that requires me to like work um at certain times. This would probably be like later or like earlier, depending. But like. Matters. All the big events kind of what win. I want to do is like last year they won it. Dream hack, they won it. Um all of these events that are going to culminate to this where the rivalry has been built, they have come out on top. But G2 my uh smoothie that legacy. A Gen G Jim. That is unbelievably clutch versus a G2 that is come back and the sun. Lemon, shower I on this one, but I want to hear your cook I don't know because Gen G for the day so close to perfection so like for lunch and dinner cook for, for that day and that's what their coach um and maybe the next them. day if I have enough food right they take a four a win it wasn't even the fashion and then like work oh and edit my God, this is a day for her and then stream that she has not during stream time step since that semi-final one thing that we do have that and of course like working working part-time is like we're talking about the two teams involved in that other, in my opinion, if i did like let's say i did like a 45 minute show. cardio workout i'm like thinking 45 minute cardio oh like okay so get is trying to get into the combo as well get my uh Smoothie. Oh, look, karma going above. So drink my smoothie. Double tap. We'll want to um, finish off to the side in G2. Workout. In a good position. Gen G beating G2 to the pitch, though. And Shower and cook. How long do you think that would take? G2 if I do like a 45 minute touch, like workout. What do y'all what do y'all think? How long do you think that would take? For G2 to reposition. Now shot potential out of Gen G. Still waiting for their opportunity. Like Y'all think like two hours is like a um is like a reasonable times time frame for that? Randy, come here. Do what? Uh, make a smoothie. Drink it. Gym, forty-five minutes. Shower and cook. Nobody prepared to capitalize upon it though. You doing? Unfortunate scenes as they had a chance to extend. And almost a chance yeah. to get the to get the pie as well there. Tally bird back in time. Three hours are very physical too. So I'm already like a 45 minute workout. I guess it depends on what I'm cooking, right? And whatever it takes, but <laughs> a valuable touch in, in these 50s. Because I swear, I only take like free up the net. You don't I, I literally only take the like the smoothie. The smoothie literally takes two minutes to make. Right, like straight up two minutes to make. To the side, Courtney with a 50 that got a bit dangerous. Now it's Katya's turn. And 45 minute workout. Off the ceiling so and between the smoothie down. and the workout, that's only an hour. And I take like 10 minute showers. Yeah, so like I would, I would say like yeah, like two to three, so like two and a half maybe. What are you doing? We didn't see a lot of defensive highlights. That's all we're seeing here in this game. Oh, did you just want back up here? I thought you were leaving. So I put you back in conehead. Just like they were I put you back in prison. And they almost gave up. In that kitty prison. That one was awkward, but still, Gen G unable to capitalize. Okay, so let's say it takes yeah, two and a half hours, right? We'll just go like in the middle there. There by Tally Bird and Gen G still first to the ball. Um, Karma keeping to the side. This is a solid defensive run so far out of G two, keeping Gen G at zero. Tally just can't be stopped. 
And let's say I started like 12, right? Or like 11. They gotta go back and check on this one because she scored the final goals of that series. She got five in a row. Now she's gotten two here. That is seven goals unanswered by other teams. And it's multiple other teams that have been unable to find an answer. We talked about it. Tally Bird, if she puts up a similar performance to what yeah, we'll she have to see. She's absolutely we'll have to see. The MVP Plus, we have to talk about the get ready with me thing, which is probably going to add like five to ten minutes to like getting ready time, you know? Jinji need to take hold of this opportunity, but they're already on the retreat. Hoping to grab some boost. Levin, how long are you looking Jinji to sleep? Full, but it's well, I'm hoping, oh, Tennis Man. No I'm hoping that with like better routine, maybe it'll help my sleeping. So I get off a stream at like two, do, right? My goodness, do they bang it on target? Two judges off the backboard, snipe to right? the bottom left. So Jinji like if I get yeah, seven hours of sleep, that's good. like nine a.m. Whole team's on fire though. And that's if I fall asleep okay, right so after, right? It's like I fall asleep at four. Reset, Jinji, forced to react quicker. I wake up at I sleep down. seven hours. Wake up at eleven. Uh, um. And transitioning in a chance to stop the cross, but no one from Gen G willing what works best, yeah. Help a single woman on the front line but this is like all this is just like essentially just like hoping, right? Like, this is like not set in schedule, this is just kind of what I want to do. Um, not necessarily what I will be doing. Um, but yeah, maybe having like a like a more strict schedule tennis man maybe that will help maybe it'll help my sleep i don't know so i want to i want to try and just like experiment a garmin is that like is that the freaking watch that you freaking was a was a garmin is that the freaking watch that you use? No, but I do have my Fitbit. I just have to charge it. It won't, like, do everything, but... But I do, I do still have my Fitbit. Talked about how G2 have such an incredible offense and defense in the midfield, which hasn't really even had to be shown in this game. Um, just as lethal as well. A well let me also, like, a win here in game number one in let me see him. Fashion. Three to zero, maybe three one if Gen G can get a march down field. The shot goes a little high, and the clear from Tally should secure the deal. Regardless of a goal, I don't know. Like, I think so. Spider Man, it looks like it, doesn't it? Starting up the series. I was wondering what that was. Like, I wasn't paying enough attention to, like, really realize it or really, like, pay, like understand what was going on. Uh, after game one was so well dominated out of Tally Bird, just the first goal, like, off of pretty much a solo play. And yeah, chat, this is, and this is all, like, stuff I'm talking about. Like, I'm going to try, but again, like, I want to, um... And Genji haven't had a safe push really going. Like, I want to try and have, like, a little bit of grace with myself. Less than 100 points for Bella. A player that we were remarking upon being the need-to-pop-off player for Gen G. A lot of times I do look to Courtney... Because it's not going to be perfect. ...talented, especially mechanically. But when Bella is putting up insane numbers, like eight goals in three games in her last series, you expect her to take said momentum, take said confidence, and run it into the next series. Was my what? She is struggling to not only get touches on the ball, but to even really be a big factor in offense. They need to change that. And I don't think it's going to stay that way. You know Coach Chrome is going to be in the ear of all three of these ladies telling them, hey... What happened? What do we need to change? And I think that they can make those changes and make this series a heck of a lot closer. Like, Genji might have more time together and all these championships, trophies galore. My resting but heart rate? Two, since adding Tally Bird, have had incredible I don't know. In the community community tournaments at this uh current point in time beyond gen g so you can't discount g2 just because their roster ha has developed i don't wear anything that tracks my g. resting heart rate but that was only game one and gen g uh oh they can go the distance but uh, could maybe too distanced away from the it used to be like 60s so 
immediately gets a bump on Bella, who's retreating the only player back, and boom, shot on target. And by used to be, I mean, like, like, within the last year. And you heard Karma in the interview. She was so not nervous. I'm trying to find, like, photos of the gym. Forcing a hand up out of Gen G. Now a shot, Karma! Oh, and I think like sometimes it would be like really high 50s spader, but I think it was usually like low 60s. After that, up until Courtney steps up and right in front of the net, Bella or like just to punch that absolute in. resting. While streaming, it would be like what 70s. And now it's a scuffle in the midfield. Um, while I'm like streaming. But like when I, after I wake up and I'm like laying in bed, it's like 60s, or it was 60s. Um, and then streaming was like, when I would stream, I would be in like the 70s. Does that sound familiar, Levin? Cause I feel like this is almost the exact same thing we saw in game one. Uh, Gen G, once they start getting suffocated, it's tough for them to break out. They're the ones who um, are not used to having to deal with this. But like when I would like walk or like jog and stuff, it would go crazy. I'm like, that's probably the reason why I want to do like cardio is to just like have a little, uh, just a little, little, little health, you know? Cause like I said, I don't really care about like lifting and stuff really, but literally just going out and, and getting some sort of cardio in, whether that, like I said, that's on a bike or it's on a treadmill, um, or if I'm starting off walking or biking slow and working up to something, it doesn't matter. Just like, just like go for 45 minutes and spin the whole time, um, walking on the treadmill, running on the, or jogging on the treadmill eventually. Um, biking. To find these goals. Well, this is the most threatening Gen G's offense has looked in quite a while, but G2 so. keep popping up the ball and that's really like the main thing. Beating Gen G, really stifling their opportunities. Now with that demo, some free work as Katya hopes to complete the pass. Karma shoves them out of See. the way and gets a hand up and Tally versus Courtney. We managed to get one final touch on the ball, putting it to the corner. Karma so there are like shot. a few photos Arnold of the gym. Corny, it's time for her to take over the lobby to the backboard, forcing a double commit. But it's very powerful. And there are definitely lots of uh, treadmills. I don't know if there are any bikes though. Maybe they should have been a bit more prepared at midfield. You can't prepare for the tally greatness. What a double! Oh, and a miss out of Bella, but Tally Bird, you have to keep all eyes. There are, there are lots of, uh, plenty of treadmills. I think I see bikes, actually. Yeah, yeah, okay, there are bikes. There, there are bikes and, and treadmills, and that's probably, like, the majority of what I'll be using. And I do play Apex as well, Beetle, yes. I'm, I'm main Apex, really. By the time they recognize it, it's far too late. That's a great yeah. play. Probably the best play we've seen out of Gen G so, so far. So, just getting some... Issue, Lemon. It took them eight minutes to play it. Some cardio in. Hey, it shows that Gen G can maybe work off of this backboard. If they um, can, uh, probably not at the time, Spader, because I, like, I can't, like, go anywhere yet. Touch, I am spectating, yes. Avenger. Gen G needs to step up, and I think Katya was late so, like, to do that. This actually makes it incredibly easy for me to go to the gym. Um, and, you know, it, it it's like less less excuses, right? Getting your license. I don't have like a specific day or time. Like, I suppose I have like a, a general time frame. Um, because my parents are gonna trade in the truck and so we're looking at like prices of vehicles that i can like um oh wait to travel is a little nerve-wracking well i mean yeah sure but i did it for months i did it for for many months previously already the lead increases, but 
Genji will not be diminished yet. Now it goes to the corner and Tally Bird Karma working together. The pinch is away, it's Courtney! Nice to have parents. Saved by Tally Bird, who's a threat um, on all lines. Well, previously, Spader, it was like when Will was in Florida. I mean, he was gone for like five, six months. And I didn't have like anyone in the area. Um, the closest person I had was like 35 minutes away, which was my brother. Possibility of a comeback here. Gen G, like we mentioned, took them eight minutes to get their first goal. How many minutes will it take them to get their second? It's going to be a guarantee so, too if they don't score right here um, right now. And Cor Karma, but my parents are like planning them. on She's getting a, a new vehicle. And we have like Again, briefly talked about um, what I can two, two and like can't row, and tally is uh, afford, is right? I mean, we haven't really, really talked about it. We just like so we've brought up um, and how set each other up. Um, and up like, like what I a home run and even we haven't really talked about it, but it's been brought up. Out of um, and like I said, I want to get a higher paying job. I'm going to be looking um, giving G2 a 4 1 win in game two. But I was not expecting so I can figure out how much I can afford like it's one for like a, a car payment kind of be a warm up, but for this because my my mom essentially has said like they'll put down like the down payment or whatever um but like they'll they'll pay they'll put down like so much money for the car and then uh I'll pay like the rest of the payments so I'll have like payments and I'll have um like insurance and stuff what tournament is this this is the star chasers showdown presented by ally it is a women's rocket league tournament um that is endorsed by rocket league um presented by ally and uh partially put together by radiance who is in partnership uh or ally who's in partnership with both radiant and uh, Rocket League of Tally Bird of just where she is on in and off the pitch like she's everywhere all at once like the movie and Jinji I I disagree like and agree Tesla Spippy because a lack of parents can also cause you to lose yourself but Genji need a wake up quite easily one goal in two games they need a wake up call and they need a wake up um I think that happens for probably most people that don't have parents actually they they tend to to lose themselves of course they find themselves eventually but I think most people do regardless of uh of parents to a degree anyways I actually don't think a lot of people are a reflection of their parents um I think they are to a degree um yes like I'm a reflection of my parents to a degree but I'm 100% my own person and I do my own things and live my own life and do things different from my parents and so does my brother like my older brother um I think it can depend on the parents you have um but like yeah, I have similarities to both my parents because because they raised me. Like you you are who you're around a lot of the time, right? Like to a degree. And so when you have parents, of course, if you lack parents, you're going to be more like whoever else you surround yourself with. I don't think I don't think you have a better opportunity to find yourself because you are going to be a reflection of those you hang around your parents you are a reflection of your parents when you have when you have present parents because they are present because they are in your life consistently because you are around them every single night when you get home every single day when you get home you're sleeping in their house you see them every single day multiple times a day if they're a present parent that is why people are a reflection of their parents if you don't have parents and you hang around other people, you are more likely to be a reflection of them. And as they are a reflection of you. You are going to be a reflection of, of whoever you hang out with in life. Regardless of if they're your parent or not. Like your friends play a huge role in who you are. Your parents play a huge role in who you are. Like a lot of people do. Yeah, yeah, it's a spippy because that's what they were like raised in. 
and but that's okay that people have the same view as their parents like there's nothing wrong with with thinking similarly to your parents right it comes it comes to the point where do you like it comes to the point though is uh of like is it right or wrong it's not wrong to believe the same thing as your parents it is wrong to believe things that are maybe harmful to people right like super harmful to people and that's something you need to assess and i think a lot of people do especially in the new like in the new era of life like you can th i feel like i feel like you're i i disagree with you because what life was 40 years ago 50 years ago is super different from life what life is now and why is that it's because people now have different beliefs than the generation before them they have different thoughts different beliefs different systems different ways of doing things than the people before them that's how things change it's because generations change and if if everybody was a reflection of their parents then nothing would ever be different things would stay the same constantly things wouldn't change things wouldn't be what things would be linear but they're never linear right v slay what's up how are you i was a kid that's what i'm saying river like generations are different like you know like our parents are different than their kids their kids are different that's why the world changes is because as generations go on generations believe different things and agree with different things and stand for different things that's literally why change occurs you know and it's not like it's it's only kids that uh that don't have parents that make any change at all yeah i think when you're a kid yes but like uh, you know like even as a kid like like i said the generations change man constantly what is acceptable now was not acceptable like 30 years ago and why is that like i said because kids kids these days have different beliefs than their parents like even you even you look now like do you think people like people like 10 years ago were painting their nail like men 10 years ago were painting their nails pretty much pretty often i don't think so not not anywhere near to the degree that men paint their nails now right or like wearing makeup like there's a lot of men that wear makeup do you think that like 10 even 10 20 years ago like they they did that but then you have like 50 years ago or whatever right like during like a rock star rock rock star era uh type deal where people painted their nails or men painted their nails I don't know right like things say. change with time and that is just like a really small simple example of like how the view of even like what masculinity and femininity is um and obviously a lot of people think men shouldn't paint their nails whatever um i personally like i mean i don't care it doesn't really matter but like what is masculine and what is feminine has like changed that's so spippy i don't think there's on the line for first place g2 one game away from achieving last i don't think there's anything wrong with thinking makeup is feminine bless you thank you but if you were like bullying somebody or like saying negative things to them because they wore makeup or like painted their nails or whatever i think that is like not cool
fathom what I am witnessing. But, like, but I don't care if you think I'm that, that or if you feel that, um, like, makeup or, or like, whatever is, um, is, like, feminine and, and men shouldn't do it. But, like, you heard it in the Gen G interview. They don't get nervous. They think I, I think you should just ignore it, just like so how men who wear makeup don't tell you to 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 wear makeup, right? Like, oh, I think you should be wearing makeup and, like, trashing on you for not wanting to wear makeup. Like, that doesn't really happen, but the opposite does happen, right? Like, judging people for wearing makeup. Because, like, at the end of the day, like, who cares? right like why does it matter that, that's kind of like how i feel it's like you can you can be like you can not like it right but like not bully someone for it or call them names because of it because they don't agree with you or they don't feel the same way that you feel but like yeah i i think it's okay to be like i'm in the point like where i think that makeup yes, so is time. feminine Courtney, who's been that spark plug, that i think that's i don't think that's next. wrong to say and Gen -G need to take hold of like this. saying like oh he i'm not i'm not here for that and Same i don't want to wear makeup and i wouldn't wear makeup that, or, uh, and i don't think that's friends. like Courtney's good helping them i don't think that's masculine like i don't think there's necessarily something wrong with that but being toxic about it is the pro is like a big problem or like if you're not okay with it but by, by okay with it i mean if you if you can't sit there and be nice to somebody and and like because they're wearing makeup i think that's pretty ridiculous right Well, I wouldn't say that it's okay, Tesla Spippy. I don't think it's okay to be any of those things. Um, well, Spaghetti God, whatever. I don't think it's okay to be, like, homophobic or racist. Like, I don't think that's okay. I don't think it's okay to, like, like, to hate people for something that does not harm you in the slightest. Um, I don't think it's okay to, to like, but I obviously think it's a lot worse. Um, well, no, because there's not one end of the spectrum, Tessa Spippy, because people, like, people generally speaking, I would say, I would say maybe, maybe racism is different because i definitely think there's a lot of people who hate like who hate like white people or hate like asian people or like whatever but when it comes to like being homophobic or whatever like no it that doesn't make sense because people who are people who are like gay or whatever don't hate straight people need to bring back the fire that like so no it's not looks for a bouncer like read of the gen g defense because the the, the the end of the the other end of the spectrum tussles baby would be gay people hating straight people for being straight that doesn't happen that doesn't really happen like well i'm sure there are outliers spider-man but generally speaking that is not really a thing like when you talk about racism i feel like that's a little bit different because i genuinely feel like people hate people based upon their race like regardless of race i feel like that happens a lot but like the the homophobic thing like people don't really hate people for being straight and and straight people don't get hated on for being straight really that like that doesn't really happen oh very much. So that would be the the other end of the spectrum that you're saying is like being homophobic would would be like somebody hating you for liking women, like hating you and calling you names. That doesn't really happen. Like that that didn't really happen. Yeah, but I'm saying like when you hi Linty, when you're talking about like the spectrum. 
If you're saying you c you can't accept one end of the spectrum and expect people to accept the other, the other end of the spectrum would be what I'm saying. It would be people publicly hating on you and berating you. Not publicly hating on you, but hating you because you are straight. Like, that. that is the other end of the spectrum. That is equal to equal. That is what equal to equal is. Being homophobic is like chaos mode here as neither team can seem to keep their nerves about them and that could be to the advantage of Genji Yeah, no, and and that's fine, Spader, but I'm saying I'm 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 saying that's okay, but I'm saying like I'm saying if we're talking spectrum to spectrum, equal to equal, like that is not equal to equal. Right? Like, if it's okay to be homophobic, then it should be okay that... In, in, in this scenario, I'm not saying generally speaking, I'm saying in this scenario, if it's okay to be homophobic, then it should be okay to speak out against heterosexuality. It, by this logic, that should be perfectly okay. But it, that's not, and that's not something that happens. <laughs> it doesn't happen. Gen G, though, they're already feeling the pressure. G like, Are you know, you like, that, that would be equal to equal. But that would not be okay. If, 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 like, you know how much hate, like, a place would get if they taught, like, homosexuality and no heterosexuality? Like, they would literally be on the news, like, around the freaking world, dude. Right? That would be equal really to equal. Get a chance to savor that overtime. We went into overtime and G2 went Oh, oh, pre like and oppression like, like would be equal. Offense, right? Like relenting. that's the equal to that equal. And and I think I we can all agree. In well, in okay, maybe we won't all agree. But I would say that most people would probably say that oppressing heterosexuality in a school and promoting homosexuality is not okay <laughs> We're all colorful and there would be riots maybe not riots but you know people would be rioting on the internet and there would be tons of stuff like tons of coverage of this like it would go crazy yeah well this is this is what i'm saying spader like all of championship sunday that's what i'm saying that that is what i'm saying though it's like it's not okay to be these things like it's not okay to be these things that's my point is it, and if you are going to put it one to one then you have to you'd have to look at this other side where heterosexual sexuality is oppressed right if you are putting it one to one how would you feel if heterosexuality was what homosexuality is you wouldn't you probably wouldn't think that's okay right like it's okay to be this like not you specifically just generally speaking because it is the quote-unquote normal right but that's my point is if you're putting it one-to-one -one, then you have to put it one-to-one -one. if you're not putting it one-to-one -one, then what's the point White birth declining, a thing of concern? Well, I think, I think any would be a thing of concern. As a race, alive? Yeah, yeah, sure, Spader. But there are plenty of people giving birth. Like, here's the thing. It's like, there are freaking billions of people in the world, right? Like, there are billions of people in the world giving birth. right like this is what i'm saying it shouldn't be a concern hi colossal not in not in any present time i'm pretty i'm pretty certain i'm pretty i'm pretty certain that like hi carnage
What do you mean, Spider? It should be. What do you what do you mean? You mean it shouldn't be as big of a deal as it is? Is that what you mean? Well, Linty, I think, I think, like, I don't think it's just a white people thing. It's also, like, a, like, a, like, a culture thing as well. Like, just because people are white doesn't mean they, like, their skin color is white doesn't mean that there's not a whole entire culture to keep alive. Like, I, I, I agree that extin extinction of, like, any particular race is, like, a, a pretty big deal. Or any particular culture is a pretty big deal. And that's, like, that's in history, that's now, that's in the future. Like, any, it doesn't matter, like, what, it, what one it is. Sorry, in groups, too. Spider, the problem is, the problem is, is when you're on the internet, that statement is not true. You will literally, you will literally see like one person post something about being gay and there will be like thousands, hundred thousands of comments like saying oppressive things or like, or like homophobic things. Because people think these things, right? Like, Sweet. and people, Come but it's the internet. Yeah, yeah, I know it's the internet, but like we live in the world of the internet. This to maybe even go to that seventh game here in this grand final with G2 versus Gen G. Yeah, um, shout out to Marvin, Marvin, Maven, Max, Marvin, that's the one. Oh my God, Sleepy Cat. Sorry, sorry. That's I'm what so I'm focused. saying. It's oh like, <laughs> the internet oh is everything like these days. Line. Anyone would have predicted unless you were crazy. Yeah, but like, just like, because you don't mean them, Spader, like, does not mean that it doesn't mean it to someone else. Their comeback potential against the, the troubleshooters, but G2 started right? the fire that like, just could not... And, and it is harmful to say those like, things, even if you don't mean them. Even if someone doesn't take offense to it, it is harmful to say these things because it teaches people that it's okay to say these things. Yeah, it, it she really did. It's pretty. It's, it's impossible though, Spader. Like everyone has feelings. You have feelings. I have feelings. Like your mom has feelings. Your dad has feelings. My dad has feelings. My mom has feelings. My brother has feelings. Randy has feelings. Randy gets upset. And if he could talk to me sometimes and say some mean things, he probably would, and they would probably hurt my feelings. Like, but th this is what I'm saying. Humans have feelings, and that is something that we can't help because we are humans. And even animals have feelings, right? Yeah, no, I, I agree, Spader. I agree with that, right? I 100% agree with that. I'm saying that these things are spread constantly. So you can say it's like government spreading agenda, but the thing is, is people say these things. These things actually happen. Do people in in maybe real life like I was actually explaining this like to my parents the other day. Do you know how many people in high school that I knew that were like that were like homosexual or like whatever, and they got public like abuse, hate, judgment, lack of acceptance. Like this isn't like a thing of like, um, this isn't a thing of like, I can't stress that the tally in her name because she only added more goals to the tally. Yeah, but yeah, exactly, Spader. Like this is a in-person thing. Like this isn't just like a, oh, if you just mind your business, people will leave you alone. I mean, it's hard not to scream her name when she's right like 
that series, she had a handful that were not hers, but she was Yeah, no, I understand being immature and like I, again, not understanding, right? Like people being naive is something that's always going to happen. And like people not having an understanding is always going to happen and people being immature is always going to happen. It's uh But yeah, those things are really harmful to other people. And to be desired within this NA region as well, Lemon, because now yeah, exactly, tennis man. I I a hundred percent get that, right? And well. like, I can appreciate someone who like did this when they were younger and has grown up. And I do not like dislike someone who has worked to improve themselves and change and do better. Um, but the problem that we like have to understand is like doing that younger like i understand people are immature and and all of these things right um but a huge problem is that like when you are a kid is like when the trauma really sticks with you and hits you right so depending on how hateful you were that person that are those people that got hated on so like let's say there were tons of people who were like spader as a kid right which it, i mean that's just true there there are and there were so it's not just spader it's it's tommy and timmy and randy and jessica and lauren and you know etc y'all get the point hating on this one individual tra like potentially traumatizing them for their life and them being afraid to be like gay or or like whatever traumatizing them to to not want to be these ways um and that is like really that is something we don't think about as a kid right and even like as an adult we're like oh well i've grown and changed right but then you look at like sometimes you have to like think and it, and it might make you feel bad and it might not but you have to think about the fact that you were not the only person hating on these people that it was the majority of people or like a group of people that were hating on on this person consistently and you didn't know better right and i understand that but like you could have like changed this person's life getting the numbers up, and them like being afraid like traumatize them and them being afraid to like, this. like do anything right like because we talk about how like a lot of people as adults um like most people will at least leave you alone right if you're just walking around but the thing is is that there's a fear there because growing up that probably wasn't the case for them because everyone's grown up right but trauma still holds on to people it's like a freaking it's like a freaking like i don't even know how to describe it but trauma holds on to people it's got its claws in people people who are 40 years old still have trauma from when they were 12. you know like that is not an uncommon occurrence that's not uncommon right we've also got the 2024 event schedule that it does end up culminating into that ally all-stars event there on land so like it's one of those things where i understand that you grew up and that's fantastic and i don't like judge for that but when you look at the world um if you look at the world as like a whole I don't want to say, you know, just like, and you sit there and you think about, um, like you sit there and say things like, well, most people like leave you alone, but you're not thinking about like all the trauma that you and others potentially caused someone when they were 16, 15, 14, and how, like how that results in them being afraid now, right? Like that's not something that we, we think about. So even if it doesn't happen, to, to, you to like you you it's you can't show. say like it's you not a big deal because these now, people a lot of people are traumatized from their parents 
Um, were you expecting from that their friends, to be from the way that it was? random people in school? Um, like yes and all no. of these I things. Put in tons of time and effort the past few months, um, um, as well as our coach and our org. Um, so, so it's just I was like expecting, you know, a these people. Today from us. Um, I didn't a lot of people so, uh, may well, not have let go of the you know, things that you uh, said and no did when they were yeah, younger, and that's not life. their fault. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, taking down the that is your fault, but you've taken accountability and and, and and grown up, right? Um, but that doesn't mean that like the trauma on their end is just let go. Um, so I think like when we talk about like, oh well, them like such an insane performance but what were the comms like like these people know. or Did these people or series? these people like, G2, are i have to imagine that the comms like they're not so really oppressed blah, blah blah like yeah com comms were pretty calm i would say it we seems were, we were like kind of they really have really been at one on point in time years. right and that trauma and, uh, can, uh, can stick with people end, so a more hype, i haven't even read what tosa swippy and corona have been talking about there there was no fooling around there but afterwards yeah we kind of loosened up a bit once we got comfortable and it's like once you start those series i um, and and basically i'm really just saying is that like having a very open view um, i think is important are, like, and understanding and the past and the present and like the that future sense. i mean i think being able it, to i think keep is really important and, focused, and so not important. just trying to understand it's the present and see the present but understanding understanding and seeing the past of what you've done in the past and how that affected someone else and maybe their life and not just you but everyone else who did it right like you may not understand that you could have definitely uh, caused definitely trauma refining our play style. for someone and you know i'm never happy with where it's at you know it's not like you necessarily did it on purpose or, or anything like that but that doesn't make it any like we need to do better for less true you know what i'm saying um, but the goal here is like to inspire you know women in the scene if they're not competing or the next generation of women um you know who are watching um, this now see. and we want everyone to, you know, dip your toe in the water, come try out, tr come try competing. Um, we have a small community right now that is very open and with open arms ready for you guys to jump in and join. So if there are any girls watching, feel free to get in there, uh, sign up and, uh, you know, let's get this thing mo moving. Hey, I mean, there's no better way to do it. You just got to kind of right. throw yourself straight into the fray of things. Um, again, a big congratulations for this win and whatnot. I, I was actually going to ask you if you had a word of advice, but you you ended up tossing that out there as well. But uh, take this opportunity now to let everyone who's watching know any other ways that they can support you, Karma, as a player within women's... There's no going back, even if you grew up. I, I agree. Uh, Linty, I agree. Um, you can follow us on Twitter. Um, I do. I 100% I do, Spader. Um, but part of that is... Um, um, and... Yeah, by supporting us, I, I by think that suicide rates events, and being transgender slash homo media, uh, homosexual definitely have a correlation. Um, but the reason, um, the part you know, of the reason I think that has a correlation is and, uh, because of how they're opinion, treated. Even if they're, uh, they're a little uh, growing up abrasive with it, it's all good. I think that's a huge uh, part of that correlation. I like meeting new people and new faces all the time. So I welcome it. Horrible things because well, of it changes people again. for sure. Um, you guys enjoy reviewing and then also hopefully celebrating your win as well as a team. Karma, looking forward to seeing you at the next one and congrats on winning your title here for NA. Thank you guys. Just want to give a quick shout out to my team. Oh no! Rejection. Oh, okay. I, Linty literally you said what I said. Just I, I should have. Ended I'm like up scrolling so. To Karma's to my team there. Oh. There we go. Okay. My she teammates got the... love them all. And my coach. <laughs> Thank you so much, Karma. I'm sorry for not giving you the chance there. I, I completely um, in that situation. Spader, so but, mental yeah, illness is like... Teammates there. Um, big appreciation to her for also taking the time to do that interview with us as well. But that does wrap up the day. So yeah. here's, here's the thing. Um, Spader, like... I don't, I think part of, but a lot of like the mental illness, like depression stems from like, it literally stems from being like mistreated or thinking you're going to be mistreated. Um, just because you're homosexual does not make you depressed. You don't, you don't become, 
depressed because you are homosexual. That that doesn't doesn't really work like that. Depression, though. Well, a lot of it is depression, though. Like, um, it's not, obviously, it's not, it's more than just depression. Yes. Um, but depression plays a big role in that. Su s depression plays a big, a big role in, in suicide. Yes. It's probably one of the, like, the, that is one thing that every person, almost every single person that commits suicide has in common, uh, is depression. It is probably the biggest, like, common denominator. But being, being homosexual doesn't, uh, doesn't make you depressed. It's, it's probably, it's, I, I would say depression is probably the main factor, not just the first factor. Probably the main factor, which is not caused by being homosexual. Especially because, like, you know, anyone can be depressed. You know what I'm saying? Like, and tons of homosexual people cannot be depressed. Depression is often triggered by events in life. So when you think about that and consider that, well, what would happen in a homosexual person's life that would trigger depression at a young age? Everything we've been talking about. Right? Except they also get heavily bullied along with their depression. Yes, yes, Spider-Man, I intentionally muted it. Yeah, of course, Spader. Like, everyone, everyone can struggle in life. Everyone can struggle in life. Everyone has, has struggle. Well, Tussle, Tussle Spippy. So, the point, the point being made is partially, though, that, um, if you look by population, like, at least in the United States, by population, um, like, so, like, obviously, yeah, it's who has the least gener generational wealth as a whole. So, you have to look at that, right? And then when you look at that number, you have to compare it to, to um, population. So, you can't just say, like, oh, well, there's more white people that are, um, that, that have less money, right? Because there's a ton more white people than other groups of people in the United States. So you have to look at generational wealth and then you have to look at like population, right? Um, per capita, yeah. So you have to look at these things together and not just like separate things because separately they don't mean anything. Separately, they, they don't point to anything at all. But together they point to a very, um, a, a very like straightforward, um, like result Oh my gosh, it's Miss Jewel. Poor minorities as a percentage. Yeah, exactly. So you have to look at that like as a as a percentage as a whole and like so you can see like minorities are often uh they have less wealth, right? So here's the thing is nobody is denying spippy nobody denies that you, that like you can't be white and broke but like just as much as there is pretty privilege like there's there is like individually you have issues right and you know what like if you if you actually if you grow up in a neighborhood full of like minorities and you're like the only white person you will probably 
you will probably experience something similar to what a minority experiences in the opposite situation. But the bigger problem is also um, like systemic, right? So like, let's say like, even though you are um, like, even though you live in that neighborhood, right? Where you would get that feeling like you would you would understand more how it feels um to experience these things there's also the uh systemic part of this right where like no matter like where you live like as a white person you may be more likely to get a better sentence than the the black the the black person or you know the minority like whatever um even even if in like that individual circumstance of where you live in a place with minorities right so like that's that's where the privilege is coming the, coming from the privilege isn't coming from you necessarily being broke then the privilege isn't coming from necessarily that you struggled white people can struggle white people can be broke white people can can freaking you know like all of these things white people can ex can experience a lot of these things but the the matter is is that systemically you will likely not experience the same things as a minority systemically you can you can experience similar things on an individual level. Um, you can you can experience it on an individual level in everyday life, or um. But like, it's not necessarily as a whole. Oh well, Spader, it is definitely a thing. It's definitely a thing. Um. And you can, like, you you learn this through, like I said, like, we were talking about wealth and what of the popularity, or popularity, population has certain wealth versus versus others um, and, and stuff like that, like, percentage-wise. And there is a difference. There's a difference in jail. And part of the difference in jail has to do with the fact that they are so broke that people join gangs or that people join like people steal because they're trying to provide for their families or they're trying to get their families not hurt yeah but like there's proof that it's a that it's real like there's there's a pr there's proof that it's a thing through statistics even no i mean i it it just like it just got off abyss like we literally just ended rocket league like two minutes ago earth is round but it is yeah there's like there is there's like legitimate proof that these things exist in the united states and they exist in other places for different populations like for different for whatever minority like exists there and that's something like like i said there are statistics to to back this up like because you can't say like you can't really say that like um i mean you can say that why does 13 percent of the population commit 64 percent of all violent crimes you can say that right and that is a statistic but that is a statistic without context right the statistics that we provide or that i am talking about are statistics with context that back up an argument there is no context in saying 13 percent of the population commits 64 percent of of all violent crimes there's no context to that well why because most of that population is in poor like poor poor places who struggle to feed their families they're in places that 
are full of single mother households. They're in places that have gangs. There are in places that people have to literally steal and kill to feed their family once or twice a week. Right? Like that, that is the context you have to bring to those numbers. Just like, just like any context, like just like statistics, you can't just like, you can't just give out a statistic and be like, this is it. There is more, there is more behind every statistic. And of course, like statistics are right. Like these are, you're giving us factual numbers. That's true. Those are like, well, I mean, I don't know the exact like percentage, but I mean, if you say that this group of people commits more crimes than, or violent crimes than any other population, that's, I mean, that's, that's true, but like, why? Right? It's not because they're just bad people. Right? It's not, it's not because they're bad people. It's not because they want to. Like, you think most people, like, like, you think people want to do that? Here's, here's like another statistic though, is that most people do not surpass the wealth of their parents and then their parents and then their parents. It's not just commitment and willingness to work hard. You know that some, that a lot of like kids in a lot of poor places are like sucked into a gang at the age of like 12, 10. Imagine being a scared, traumatized child like that, getting pulled into a gang where people are dying, people are doing drugs, people are stealing, people are doing all of these things. And your mom has like, you know, like, yeah, but why does their sibling get into it, Spader? Why does, why does the sibling get into it? Context, context. Why does the sibling get into it? You're not answering my question. Why? Why? Why do they get into it? <sighs> like, it's not... I'm saying it's not as easy as commitment and willingness. It's not just that easy. These people are, like, threatening to murder these people's families. That's not just commitment and willingness. It's fear. They make you fear. leaving that's the point you genuinely think most people want to be in a gang where they don't have like any power one of the biggest things that drive people unfortunately is power why would they want to be in a gang where they have no power, no say, where they have to hurt people. And not have to work. That is not, th th that is literally not true. This, this is the thing, Spider. You literally don't even have like the proper information. Like you don't even have the proper information. Like. Yes, okay, you have an outlier, right? Like, yeah, people want to be like their siblings. But, like, why do their siblings get into it, right? Like, yes, but why? Why were they in a gang? Why were they trying to be in a gang?
yeah, so there's context. It's not just it's not just someone wanting to be in a game. It's not just someone wanting to be in a game. This isn't just commitment and willingness. That's what I'm saying. Like it isn't just it isn't just commitment and willingness. And if you think gangs don't like threaten family or siblings or like like let's say or let's say like also, they threaten you of your safety if you don't join or if you leave. That is very common. That is very common. Spader, again, context. You think this gang does not threaten... Uh, does not threaten this kid? The, their brother? You you think this gang has never threatened the life of of said eight year old or or the kid that is in the gang or the family or anything like that because that's a pretty delusional like or pretty naive like thought that most people just want to join gangs and they don't feel they have to. It's more than willingness to commitment. Do I think... Do I think that anyone can get out of their situation and do better? Yes. Do I think that it is easy? No. Do I think that it only takes commitment and willingness? No. It takes a lot more than that to get out of certain situations. It doesn't always work. Like, it's just commitment, commitment and, and that's like anything in life. Like, just because you are committed and willing does not mean that it'll just work. Like, like even through streaming as an example, Let's just use streaming as an example here. I stream five days a week. I post videos often. Am I doing everything that I can? No. But am I constantly for years creating like engaging content, trying to create engaging content and trying to do better and streaming and have like a good attitude and like do all these things that I want to do. Like, yeah, I'm trying. I have the willingness, willingness. I'm committed. I put in tons of effort all the time. Does that just equal success or anything close to it? No, it does not. And that is, that is proof in the paper from people who work 12 hours a day for years and years and years and years and years. People who go to college and nothing comes from it. Like, to say willingness and commitment is all it takes to, to, and this is just a job. Imagine getting out of a, of a life like that is, that is dangerous where they know everything about you. And everything you've done. Right? Like that is much harder. Than getting a better job. But getting a better job can be really hard. Willingness and effort. It just doesn't, doesn't just work. I agree with that Spader. You do have a 0% chance of willingness. Like without willingness. Or commitment. You do have a 0% chance, but that is not all to say that's all it takes is, is naive. It's, it's not true. It's, I mean, it's, it's literally just not true. It's just inaccurate. It doesn't only take willingness and commitment. Does it up your chances? 
Yes. Is that anywhere close to all it takes? Not even close. Can't believe we're freaking watching Miss Jewel here. I mean, I'm pretty sure that that is what you said, that it just takes some some willingness and commitment to, to do it. I, I am pretty sure that is, that is what you said. But like, you're, you're simplifying it is my, is my point. Like, say that's all then then why are you expressing it in a way like willingness and commitment is like is is what's going to get you out of these positions because it takes a, a whole lot more than that it takes a whole lot more than that but you're like simplifying it to two things when it's a million things and those million other things don't fall under those categories like you're even okay so you didn't say that's all but you're simplifying it then to two things that are five percent of what it takes to get out of these situations Like a tiny percentage? Code they were born in? True. Gener generational, like, wealth is, is definitely a thing. Like... There, there's a small percentage of people that make it, like I said, make it out of the, um, like their, make it out of like their, uh, their families, like wealth. Like if your parents are middle class then you're very likely going to be middle class, not a hundred percent of the time, just very likely. Doesn't mean you're not willing or committed or that you don't work hard it's just oftentimes the way the cookie crumbles and sometimes people get really lucky in life that's something that we gotta accept too I can agree with that, Spader. Like, not having things be handed to you is really nice. It's like, it makes you feel very accomplished. But not everything in life should be hard. Like... Well, here's another scenario, Spader, is that, like, it's not necessarily, like, given to you because of, like, because of color, but let's say you were arrested, like, you are likely to be treated differently. Growing up in neighborhoods, broke does not, we're not talking about being broke. We're not talking about your parents leaving. We are talking about what you don't experience because you are white. That is the discussion. Which could literally just mean that you, like, certain things did not happen to you. You were not treated certain ways. Sometimes it's not even about what you, what you had given to you it's about what you didn't have taken away from you
See, it's not necessarily that I think you should just get that stuff for existing, but I definitely think that those things should be within your reach of, like, you should be able to afford them. Like, I think at the very least, you should be able to afford proper housing and food and medical care with minimum wage. And I say proper, I don't mean some, like, crazy place. I just mean space. Like, you should be able to afford all that stuff. Government pays for it. Well, here's the thing, Spader, is like... Streaming? Like... So, like, overall, I don't make, like, a lot of money, right? Between, like, part-time and streaming and stuff. I don't make a lot of money. But, like, if I moved to, to, like, somewhere else, I literally would, like, not be able to really afford a place on my own. Like, it's, like, lucky that Arkansas has such a low, like, cost. And I definitely could not sit here and afford medical bills. Like I have insurance now. I'm I'm insured. Um But like let's say I had like a really big issue. Like my insurance is not going to cover all of that. It's like And like let's say it was a necessity. Tip so. Well not not part-time though. But I'm saying, like, I can make a minimum wage here or, like, in different places and struggle to survive on my own. That's what I'm saying, Spader. I'm, that's what I mean is I think that cost should be like, um, like I think they should be affordable. If you're going to have a minimum wage, like you should make life affordable. So it's like, how long has it been since, like, let's say minimum wage has changed? So it's been since tw January 2023. Not to say at the minimum, but that doesn't always happen. Like, not everybody, not everybody can move up. Like, that's not possible for every single human being to do. And, like, minimum wage jobs, like, I don't even think are just for the, ex like, just for the inexperienced. Because, like, you can pay, like, slightly more than minimum wage for a job that someone, like, literally went to college for. Like, okay, it's not minimum wage, but, like, you get paid, like, a dollar more or two dollars more. Or, like, or require, like, a lot of, like, okay, so let's say... Let's say you are like a, a virtual assistant, right? Like like I've been trying to do, right? There are some people that like pay like $13 an hour for like for work that literally involves um like the scheduling of stuff for like a CEO. Like what high schooler is is oftentimes doing that? Yeah, no, Spader, obviously, like, raising minimum wage makes the prices of, like, everything go up because people want as much, like, of a surplus as they possibly can have. But the thing is, is, like, minimum wage, the, the problem is, Spader, is that minimum wage is staying the same in a lot of places 
well, the prices still are increasing and increasing and increasing and increasing, right? Like, it's like, it's, it's like, that's kind of a crazy thing. I don't know where it's at. <laughs> okay, let's see. Infla yeah, inflation, that's what I'm saying. So, Arkansas minimum wage. Okay. $11 an hour. A lot of places require you to make three times your rent, approximately. Two to three times your rent. Right? At a $600 a month rent fee you are not making three times the rent a month at minimum wage. And $600 isn't even very realistic. Like most, most places are like 800 something to $1,000, which means you would have to make let's see so let's say it's $800 which is still pretty low that's still a really good price point for Arkansas you would have to um, you would have to make, uh, $15 an hour to be exact at the three times, right? And even like $2,400 a month isn't very much. Um, but you'd have to make $15 an hour at 40 hours a week. So like, we're not including like overtime here, which a lot of people do these days, right? To make more money. We're just talking basic 40 hours a week. Um, you would have to make $4. And like I said, that is that is pretty low. So I would say like, what, $17 an hour maybe? Yeah. So about $17 an hour, maybe $18 an hour uh, for an apartment, that's $900 a month, which is probably more realistic here. So you would have to make seven to $8 over to, to have, to have what a lot of apartments ask for, which is, is three times the rent cost. Like they want you to make three times the rent cost. Um, this is not like a hundred percent. This is just like, like in my personal, um, like my place, the, like they said before, like while I was filling out the application that we want you to make about three times, like what the rent cost is a month. Right. So you would essentially have to be making 17 to $18 a month to live in like an, Fifth, let's say 15 to 18 dollars to live in like maybe an average apartment here well not i guess not 15 but like like maybe like 16 to 18 um if you obviously like you know like a lot of apartments are even above 900 so maybe like 19 so like 16 to 19 an hour to ha to to live on your own this is solo, no pets, no 
children, no significant other, just completely by yourself in a one bedroom apartment. That is like 700 something square feet or 600 something, or maybe 800 something if you're really lucky de depending. Like I could, I could get like, I could spend 900 bucks and get like 800, 900 something square feet um, where I used to live, which is for the times pretty good. But that's like here. Advantage of my skill sets, for sure tennis man. I think that, um, I think something that's difficult, tennis men, is a lot of people have to work pretty young. And so it's hard to obtain skill sets um, outside of like jobs for more inexperienced people. Cause like a lot of, so like, okay, so if, I guess for example, tennis men, um, like obviously there are retail jobs and things like that, right? That's, I mean, that's 100% true. But like, we live in a world where it's a lot of like tech and stuff. And okay, where there's a lot of tech and stuff. Um right? And there is hardly like people hiring extremely inexperienced people for like tech stuff. Um It's like a lot of them require like previous experience, but like when you are young, like if you're 18, like you're gonna be living with your parents, right? Your hobbies, yeah, sure. Like you you did like mechanic stuff, right? So I like, I, I can agree that some people probably like have hobbies similar to yours. Like, but like me, me, myself and I, my hobbies were like video games, right? Like I enjoyed computer stuff and video games, but I wasn't, I didn't have any experience, right? And, um, like, let's say I, I had to get a job. Um, I, I did work, I mean, right out of high school, right? I did do that. And I worked for minimum wage. Um, so I, I did that, right? But like a lot of, a lot of what I did there at Tennis Men does not help me in anything that I've applied for or anything that I do now, except like, there's potential in like the, the the sales portion, but I didn't really do a lot of that. Um, and so like my hobbies were were sports and video games, right? So I I, I streamed, right? Um, and of course like I learned stuff through college and whatnot, but not everyone. That's another thing. It's not everyone can go to college, you know, like. past experience some places definitely colossal some places definitely do like though they're willing to teach you um and here's like here's like a crappy thing tennis man is a lot at least like in my case a lot of a lot of places like don't take like streaming seriously right i've gained a lot of skills through streaming i think like you know like i have really learned a lot more about computers I know about content, I know about editing, I know about posting, I know about social media, I know about like admin stuff um, through like everything that I've participated in. I know about even cr creating like, uh, you know, like virtual assistants will do stuff like uh, plan, like book things for people, for like large groups of people. And like, I've even gotten experience in that through streaming because of the events that we've gone to and how like, I'm the one like consistently booking things if I'm not staying with like Kevin and, you know, like keeping up with multiple emails and keeping up with like opportunities and like business opportunities and events and working with other people and talking to people and being good with people and having like really good social skills and all of these things i've gotten all of these things through streaming right like i mean i've obviously like had some of them before and stuff but i've done all of these things through streaming but i don't know if people take that seriously like on a resume you know what i'm saying like i don't think they see like content creator and and think like oh this person like has gained all of these skills you know you know what i mean 
but I have gained all of these skills and I've done so through through content creation. I just don't think that I, I can't say this for certain, but I'm unsure if people take that seriously. Cause I've like I said, I've gained tons of skills through this. And a lot of them, a lot of them I will say are are basic level, but they can be easily built upon. Right? So like my editing is very basic, but that can be like I can do things and that can be easily built upon. Admin duties. I've done a lot of basic things that can be easily built upon. You know, I'm really good at multitasking. I'm good at working from home. I'm good at managing like time. I'm good at um like well not good at managing. I'm decent at managing time. I'm hard working, right? And I'm dedicated and committed and like all of these things, right? But that doesn't necessarily like show in a resume when you put down what you do, like as a content creator, you know? And that's like what I've done for the majority of my adult life is content creation. Linty, I'm not gonna lie, that sounds a little sus. 18. Yeah, as a kid, as a kid, like, yeah, minimum wage is not bad. But, like, I've literally gone on, like, Googling, um, like, what do you put on a resume if you are a content creator? Like, I've literally tried Googling it to figure out how to, like, make it different. <laughs> but it's, like, in customer relations, like, you don't deal with, like, all of those things. Like, you don't deal with, like, all the skill sets that I've said uh, that I have, like, <laughs> they're not, like, just in, like, you don't deal with half those things in, like, just customer relations or customer service or sales. Like, it's, like, such an abundance of things. It's, like, crazy. And it's hard to put all of that properly into a resume, I think. Um, and like I said, it's also a matter of like people taking it seriously. You know what I'm saying? Um, when they see certain things on a resume. I do. I, Tessa's Pippi, I'm not arguing it. I'm just saying it sounds sus and I'm not sure phrasing it like that would be good for a resume. <laughs> They're going to be like, OnlyFans? That's crazy. I'm not going to hire that person. <laughs> oh, you're like Amaranth? Wow. <laughs> well, y'all, I've enjoyed this talk. This stream was longer than I had intended. Um, but we are going to I do not do OnlyFans. Um Hi Lazen. Dinner is gonna be ready soon. So I have to go. Um and I'm really hungry anyways. But I appreciate y'all and um I've enjoyed the long conversations today. They've been nice. Lindy, thank you for the for the five gifted, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. We're just gonna go ahead and raid Jewel. We're we're literally here anyways. Um, let's see. Oh, Devour, I see Griff. Quack. I appreciate it, Lindsay. Thank you for the five five gifted, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't doubt it, tennis man. I don't doubt it. Um, but thank y'all for the subs, resubs, gifted subs, bits, raids, hosts, follows, most importantly, as always. Thank y'all for your time. I appreciate you. If you are new, um, Just a bit. 
make sure y'all join the discord we're active in there every single day we do community nights on sundays where we hang out watch movies play games together make sure y'all follow the socials i do posts on youtube and uh tiktok really often and i plan to kind of post a little bit of my my gym journey once that happens um when when we get there hopefully prage um so if y'all want to kind of follow along in that um we're gonna be we're gonna be hopefully doing that as well if y'all have my emotes copy and paste um but i appreciate y'all and i hope that y'all have a wonderful night i'm trying to like do my normal thing but randy's like laying in front of my keyboard so or my uh, stream deck but i'll see y'all later